Welcome back to another play by play with the hockey coach guru, coach Frenchy, directly for the beautiful country of Thailand. It's uh, November 5th, I believe, or 6th. I don't know. I'm always confusing with the date uh, because I'm always uh, 11 hours in front of you. But whatsoever, the Montreal Canadiens play game number 12 of the season. They host tonight the Vegas Golden Knight. The Montreal Canadiens are a record of 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. The Vegas Golden Knights are second in the standing in the NHL with a 10-2-0, a first in the Pacific Division. Many games in NHL tonight. First of all, there are a couple of games already done. The Colorado uh, Avalanche won again by the score 5-1. to one. We have already the, the Winnipeg Jet guys consist of performing very well. Another shutout for Connor Elebach by the score 4 0. The Dallas Stars shocked the Edmonton Oilers by a score of the mm, 6 3, I believe. And then the Detroit Red Wings shut, shut out uh, the New York Islanders by a score of 3 0. So you can see already a couple of shutouts on this beautiful Saturday. I know the weather in Montreal and in the Quebec is amazing, but we want to welcome everybody. But why not starting right away? With a super chat there from Mr. Ryan Kirk is open the door for the super chat. So let's dive in. Here we go. Super chat rivers. Chop, chop, chop. Super chat uh, hype, uh, Mr. Ryan Kirk. Uh, thanks so much for your super chat tonight. Uh, we have a few people knock the door already, guys. Ready for rock and roll. Really big test for the Montreal Canadian tonight. Will be interesting. We have already some change in the lineup for the Montreal Canadian. If you don't know, we know uh, Jack Eagle. Uh, Jack Eagle. Jake Allen is going to be between the pipe for the Montreal Canadian. And then we have a uh, couple of information. Chris Whiteman back at the lineup with Mike Hoffman. The Montreal Canadiens, the coach, uh, take out of the roster. Uh, Kovacevic, uh, the defenseman, and uh, Rem Pitlick uh, are going to be out of the lineup. Uh, the line for the Montreal Canadiens tonight, no change. Uh, is going to be uh, Caulfield with uh, Zizki and Dak. Uh, it's going to be Saval Coley together. Then we have Anderson, Devorak, Gallagher with uh, Edmondson and Jordan Harris play on the right uh, side uh, tonight. And then finally we have... Uh, Jonathan Drouin with Monahan and Mike Hoffman with uh, Jackai back with uh, Chris Whiteman. And then we have uh, Sapkowski play with Jake Evan and Joel Armia. So just give you an idea, the roster for the Montreal Canadian. That's so what's happening here. We have a few people welcome back. It's directly from uh, Vermont. I'm talking about Mr. Roger Butch Bouchard. Welcome back in the house. The captain of the moderator, French, English, whatever he knows, uh, he talk about uh, the hockey nation. I show Mr. Danny T. Welcome back. The informator, the reporter, with all the news around the league, uh, whatever is uh, NHL, MJ, NBL, or any FL, uh, or NBA, or the high school, whatever happening in the sport, uh, he brings us everything, Mr. RJ Calabro. Rick Bengal uh, from Halifax. Uh, welcome back in the house. Ricky, thanks to be with us. Rick is going to give us some information about the, rock, the Laval Rocket tonight. Uh, Rick is watching the Laval Rocket. So, no? First of all, we welcome back with a super chat. Uh, we want to thank him, Mr. Ryan Kirk. Uh, thanks so much. Super chat. Our friend Zev Lakab is in the house tonight. Uh, welcome aboard. We call him number 13, uh, the 13. Uh, welcome back at uh, the CDME. But we'd like to call him Mr. 13. Uh, welcome back, my friend. Uh, Lava lost again. Uh, Baron is not uh, struggling. Uh, Poulain played like a mountain boat for what Rick said. Uh, so, can see still on, on, on the team and earn it. Uh, Mr. Rogers said that, by the way. He played game number nine uh, tonight. For the Montreal Canadiens. So what's next? Well, what is next is like uh, if you go to Detroit Tuesday night, he's going to complete game number nine. So he's going to be uh, one. He was going to burn one of his ELC year. That's normal. But I just want to mention this to you. So great point about this one. 
Um, Alan is between the pipe. Um, Yamo Vertanen, welcome in the house. Yamo, thanks to be with us. And then uh, uh, I've got the, the Thai DJ, Yezef. Uh, I, yes, I'm, uh, I need a second job here in Pattaya to get there. We're exactly from Kentucky. Mr. Alan Vanyako, welcome back in the house. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, that was the win. Uh, okay, that's the uh, win. You know, Toronto play again the Boston Bruins tonight. Very important weekend for the Toronto Maple believe uh, if you are a fan of them. So uh, that would be interesting. So that two players need to go. Whiteman and Hoffman. Uh, what's up, Dan? He said, Alan, Alan uh, Jeremy Alla. Welcome back, Jeremy. Thanks to be with our Kinesha show. What about Christian? Christian Shaw, welcome back in the house, Mr. Christian Shaw. We have to wave people. There we go. We're going to wave the people right there. So we appreciate a lot, uh, Mr. Sir. Everything is big in Texas. Everything is bigger with the New Jersey Devils. I'm talking about Mr. Joseph Laham. Welcome back in the house, Joseph. Thanks for being with us. Jack and Bell, uh, glove, uh, uh, hands broken. Uh, really interesting. Yeah, mo, I watched the game um, in and out, but I saw the game, the puck go over his glove uh, two times uh, today. Very difficult game for Campbell. Well, I'll be honest with you, very difficult year so far. Uh, that's what happening about him one over there. Uh, the Rocket lost uh, in overtime. A poor game from Byron. Uh, Shenemann was great uh, for what he said. Laval is too small a team. Uh, you're welcome, Christian, about this one over there. Uh, I have Toronto tonight to win, and I don't like Toronto to make some money tonight. Uh, we have to see how Toronto is going to do. Again, them uh, some blow out today so far. Yeah, Joseph, I agree with you about this one over there. Uh, today, the 11-3 uh, and the Laval Rocket 2 final today. Thanks so much, RJ, to give us the last update about this one over there. Um, uh, one for the KO with Dallin. <laughs> Zef Lecam talked about this happening yesterday. Again, at Carolina and the uh, Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Mr. Jose Duarte, Aston Moderator of the Hockey National Show. Welcome back in the house from the Upstate New York. So that's what's happening about here. We're going to see, uh, don't forget to smash uh, smash the button. That'd be great. Uh, don't forget, guys, to um, subscribe, of course, uh, and, of course, uh, sharing this video of the night. Uh, Adam Hill is going to be between the pipe at 400, 1.72, guys, 0 .940. Uh, this is the this, this is the, the the record of Adam Hill uh, for tonight, uh, for tonight uh, for the goaltender, for the biggest golden night. Uh. Some information about the, the stat we got for the, the, the report card for tonight's game. If I can get it, that would be better. First of all, uh, we're going to provide you some information all the night. Uh, this is a power play for Vegas, our number 21 in NHL at 21.1. The Montreal is 12.9, 29. Then the PK, Vegas is 17 in Montreal, Canadian, or 13. Uh, we try to create some kind of new stuff at the, at the chat here. We're going to bring you guys uh, some kind of information uh, uh, during the game, I gave you all the information about the stat and everything like that. So uh, we try to get this to you guys during the game uh, the most we can. So that will give you an ID about that. And we're going to provide you this. And then we're going to shifting sometimes during the game. What are you talking about, Coach? So sometimes I'm going to create some kind of information for you. Uh, maybe that will help you to uh, get a little bit more better information about the game. So uh I will try the best we can to helping you uh, about the stat. The force uh, the initial is not start the stat, but I will go to give you the best we can. Uh, uh, Bobby back at the net is in the house. Welcome back, Bobby. Deal or no deal, but we have the real deal he is in the house with night time. Uh, Mr. Real Deal Prim, uh, welcome back. Uh, uh, Zef, I'll be honest with you, uh, I can pay, but I cannot drink. So uh, I don't see no problem if you accept me to drink water. Kelly Desjardins in the house. Kelly, welcome back. Miss Kelly, a double Kelly. We just got a double Kelly. Guys, it's like a, a strike and bowling, like Alan Vianco always said. Kelly Desjardins and Kelly 
Matthews back in the house. Uh, big game for Jakai tonight. Uh, Rick, you're absolutely right about this one. With that. Thank you so much, Bobby, to switch uh, the account about this. Our friend Mike Michel Cloutier, directly from San Diego, Republica Dominican. Buenas noches, Mr. Michel. Hopefully you're doing well, Mr. Michel. Thanks to be with the Hockey Nation Show 17. Like, don't forget to click on that. Coach, uh, you can't if if you root beer. <laughs> <laughs> root beer. Long time I didn't see this. I think the last time I took a root beer, guys, it was at the remember like the AW? Is it AW restaurant? Oh my god, I don't remember. I think it was the like the bear. Like AW. Someone can tell me this. I like like this is about 30 years ago. That's my last time I took a root beer. I didn't never like root beer, by the way. But uh yeah, A.W. Here we go. Rick mentioned this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach Ross Stumbington in the house. Ross, uh, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Ross is a big fan and uh, support of the Hockey Nation uh, show. Big fan of who? The Boston The Bruins are number one in the standing and the month in the NHL. Amazing, great regard. Play again at Toronto. I believe Ross uh, will be interesting how they're going to look like. And we have to wear the root beer, but uh, with ice cream, but the ice cream and put the root beer uh, in it. Here we go. That's the way to do that. Uh, bueno noche, everyone. I go, Michael. Uh, glad to see you aboard. Uh, when the waitress uh, brought the root beer to the car. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one, Seth. Uh, I love that one, Jeff. I did not remember that one, but uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Mr. Down Burt and the house. Welcome, Mr. Down Burt. That's in sport. Connor, podcast directly from British Columbia. Welcome back in the house, Mr. Dawson. Maxi, back in the house. Uh, Riva Vera. I coach not ready for the, another good game. Thanks so much to be uh, with the uh, us uh, tonight, Maxi, we're going to do the Montreal Canadian tonight, but we're going to follow up the Toronto Maple Leaf game on information. What about our friend Tony? Read Tony, welcome back in the house. Uh, thanks for being with us. Don't forget, guys, at the end of the show today, we do the same thing. We do a post-game show uh, today. So uh, hopefully we're going to see you. We're going to go open the line at the end of the show, and we're going to invite you to talk to me. You're going to be a little square on the right corner. And you're going to talk about the game together. We'll see how the Montreal Canadiens are going to do tonight. Again, the Golden Knight. And we know the Golden Knight are an amazing, great team so far since the beginning of the season. Uh, Karen, uh, okay, mom, are the worst, uh, Christian said. Go Vegas, go. Kelly, Rick, uh, Rick, uh, and Jeffy Korn back in the house. Tonight, we have a special presentation. It's a presentation of the Molson Cup. It's a two-winner. Cole Caulfield and Nick Zuski is the winner. We have a national anthem. And that's what's happening about this. So that's why going to game. It will be a little bit delayed about the impression on the abs game tonight. Uh, I don't know. I will go for two Vegas uh, tonight, uh, Roger. Or maybe for three. But it will be interesting how it's going to turn around about this. I need that, Kelly. A wink, uh, wink for Rick. Uh, Rick, thanks for being with us tonight. Uh, thanks so much to be a part of the show tonight. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. We're going to increase. Hopefully, have more people going to join us uh, tonight. Uh, uh, good evening, Danny. Randy Walkman directly from uh, Calgary. Randy, welcome back, Randy. Glad to see you around. Uh, hopefully, an amazing, great weekend with your beautiful wife. Uh, William Snyder from downtown Colorado with a W, a double W, a double. Oh, oh sorry about that. Uh, we have chat. a super chat number two of the night. That's coming from Dawson. Super chat reverse. Chat, chat, chat. Super chat, uh, Mr. Dawson. Uh, welcome, and thanks so much uh, oh my God. for your super chat number two of the evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we love it. Uh, Thank you very much. Nice. 
Thanks so much about this one over there. We have a special uh, intervention, Sherilyn Toka. Wow. Sherilyn Toka is the, the singer of the National Anthem. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> talking about Toka, we're not talking about the man of the trompetist of the Hockey National Show. He's back. Mr. Luciano Graziano. Welcome back in the house. Mr. Luciano, the entertainer of the Hockey News Show, show. Welcome in the house, Mr. Luciano. Thanks to be a part of the show. And we are now listening to the National Anthem. Chris, now that was our toughest, that was not our toughest, the toughest guy. Chris, uh, you're welcome, Luciano. Of course, we have to think about his wife. Wife will be around. Gallagher Hockey. Welcome back in the house, Gallagher. Gallagher, Gally, 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 Gally. About this, uh, don't forget, guys, to get on the likes. We have half away, you guys. Uh, we just hit the quarter of the, the 100. It will be a little bit hard. I don't know, people. Go over there. Let's go. 2-0 Finland. William, yeah, great performance. 5-1 to one today again. McConnell score his third goal of the season. Kel McCall, second of the season. Uh, Rentanen continues uh, with Lekanen. So, great uh, performance for McKinnon. And Lekanen and Ratanen. I love it. Ratanen, Lekanen, and Mekanen. So that's what we got here. And then it's going to be uh, now for the next national anthem about the French Canadians. So it's a, it's a delay game tonight. That's happening. Coach, a prediction for the tone game tonight. Five three Boston Bruins. Hmm. I think they're going to lose today, Toronto, and win tomorrow again. Uh, and then, yeah, no, they should win tonight and lose tomorrow. That would just make sense. Uh, but um, it's going to be hard uh, for them to perform. We know uh, Wayne Simon back in the lineup for them is going to be on the third line uh, tonight. Uh, and they put Pierre Egval as a center. Really interesting move from him. Uh, I bet... Uh, da -da 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 -da, uh, I bet the game would be closer, but no chance on the app winning. The hopefully the game will be closer. Pussy the like and merci mon Christian about this. Uh, let's uh, break uh, the bronze tonight. That'd be great, Michael. If the Toronto, I think, could turn around the season after that game tonight. If the bronze can do that, that would be great to see that. Uh, thanks so much, William Snyder. And tomorrow is a 5 p.m. game and back to back for the Toronto. Yes, Rick. I uh, will try to do it. It uh, looks like we have an extra hours uh, to sleep tonight, if I can recall it. I think it's teaching the time uh, saving, whatever they call it. Uh, and we're going to start about this. And Mr. Um, the Boston, the, oh, the Astros uh, lead 3-2. to two. The game is tonight at nine, 8 o'clock. So the game is going to start in about less than one hour. And so that's what we are. We are waiting right now for the game to start, guys. So, bon match, mes amis. Have an amazing, great game, and thanks to be a part of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Chris Whiteman on the ice with Suzuki Caulfield and Kirby Dak. Uh, we know Bruce Cassidy is a new head coach behind the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, Lou does a really good job. It will be interesting. The four line for the Vegas is on the on the ice. We talk about Roy, Colsar, and uh, we talk about uh, <coughs> Carrier. And we know uh, Mac Roy, or Roy have a great uh, a great uh, game last time. Coffee is coming on the back end. Turn around. Look on the, the back door. A little bit too far. It's just turning out behind to Kirby Dak. The guy hold the back. Pass the puck to Suzuki. Suzuki contre the puck. At the blue line. Pass the puck to Jack Ash. Shoot the puck. Turn around. Turn around by William Carey. Try to get back outside. Suzuki intercept the puck. But we're back. Uh, and the left defenseman recovery by uh, Martinez to Prudentiano. We know Martinez have uh, missed almost half of the season last season. Returned with the Vegas Golden Knight at 33 years old. Signed a contract last season, three years now. Vegas coming back on defensive zone of the Montreal Canadiens. Control the puck. Turn around by Jack Eichel. Recovery right there by Mike Stone. Down the puck behind the net. Chase him on the left side. 
No, a penalty from Montreal was close to get that one there. I think it was Jordan Harris playing on the right side. Pass the puck on the back end, pass the puck to the side. They were right past to Gallagher. Gallagher hold the puck, bring the puck behind. Gallagher battle for the puck. If I guess we're going to intercept, bring back an offensive season. Max Stone hold the puck, kick out the puck to Jack. I call, I call, I love the puck. But I have a first whistle of the night after uh, outside at the blue line. But if I guess go tonight. <laughs> Mr. Sue Peterson. Swag the part behind Hill. Hill intercepted the part, bringing part to the board. Intercepted by the Vegas Golden Knight. They are coming back. Now, it's much just so lose the park in front of the neutral zone. Don't be part of Montreal. Can you be another whistle? It's going to be an uh, ice scene for the Montreal Canadiens going to re- go all the way back on defensive zone uh, with 18-32 to go remaining on the first period. Uh, that's what we got between the guests and the Montreal Canadiens. Welcome, everybody, to the part of the show tonight. That Tampa just score. Open up the score. Again, RJ just mentioned this to us. Uh, thanks so much for this uh, information. Mario uh, de la Nationale, the guests go tonight as a goaltending, by the way. And that's what put the puck winning part the uh, Vegas uh, don't pay a pipe by Jonathan Drouin. The puck stay in the zone. William Carlson bring a pipe behind the net. Uh, intercept by Allen. Uh, Jake Allen bring a pipe to the left side. Intercept right away by Rylan Smith. Bring a pipe to the corner. Uh, it's Masha. So uh, try the puck right now. Uh, bring the pipe behind the net. Sackling the puck. Vegas hold the puck all the way by Riley Smith. Smith at the goal line. Left side of Allen. Bring a pipe to Masha. So bring a pipe in front of the net. Intercept by Montreal can end. But puck stuck in the zone. Uh, but possibly uh, uh, outside the net. And then the uh, finale, the uh, puck goes with Jonathan Drouin. Don't pay the puck. Too many players for the Montreal Canadiens, but look like we don't get that one. We're seven out for the Montreal Canadiens. David Savard, first appearance on the ice with a four line for the Montreal. Safkowski, Armia, and Jake Kevin. Back to Savard. Armia, how much coming now? Keep controlling by the goal line. Keep controlling at the ash mark. Come turn around, looking, looking, bring it back to the blue line. Set up to Whiteman. Shoot the puck. Stop by the defenseman. But Peter Angelo reset all the way by Oden. Oden used the board and bucket between Harper. Harper knocked the door and just all the way back up by. Uh, uh, white men. Now go back to the Jake Evans. Jake Evans now in, in front of the, the bench. Uh, contre le park, don't pay park. All the way back to the side. Uh, the turnaround by Vegas Golden Knight. Pitching right now by Armia. Armia win the ball out again. Pierre Trinjalo change the direction. Bring it by the Ashmark. Armia bring the park to the blue line. Fire the park. Uh, and now I don't know if he hit the, def- the goalie or he hit the defenseman, but we have a great shot by uh, Retarver. Armia contre le park, but he's still the park by Phil Castle. Kelf Castle right now recovery park. We have a no penalty. Turn around all the way back. Uh, the Montreal. Canadian on transition, contre le puck on the back. Jake Kevin hold the puck. Fire the puck, black shot by the defenseman. Controlling the puck at Montreal. Get the puck to the side. Back to Edmondson. Back again to back to Edmondson. Great pass for Stavikowski by intercept by the Vegas Golden the night. They are coming back now. Uh, on the right side, Jake Allen bring the puck behind the net. Uh, Jake uh, Eggall recovery the puck. Hold the puck on the back. Coming back at the blind. Shoot the puck in the corner. Intercept now in front of the net by Max Stone. Uh, Sarkovsky try to get the puck outside the zone. Uh, finally, love the puck. Neutral zone is going to be to the bench. Uh, last player to get out of the ice. Uh, recovery by Vegas. Vegas coming back at the offensive zone. Keep coming the puck. Bring the puck behind to Max Stone. Max Stone on the back door. Fire the puck by the defenseman. Black shot by Montreal Canadien. They'll go back behind the net. and recovery now by Vegas. Vegas put plenty pressure on Montreal Canadien. When finally Montreal going to find a way to get a puck out uh, with a D reverse. Uh, going to have new players coming for both teams. Uh, we set now by Joel Armia. Uh, Joel Armia. Joel, <laughs> Joel Edmondson. Edmondson, second game of the season. Make a return last Thursday. Again, we paid Jets. Uh, the puck go behind the hill. We set right now. And Vegas going to get out. Vegas come in. Four versus two for Vegas. Hold the puck in another way. Fire puck. Uh, Black shot defense man in front of the net. Return ball right now. Vegas still the puck. Holding the puck right there. Bring it to the blue line. Shoot the puck uh, from... Uh, uh, McNabb, oh, P- De- Deodor, finally, black shot, Montreal, the puck go back on defense season of Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, recovery now by Shape Theodore, waiting for the transition on the breakout. Pass the puck to the side to White Cloud. White Cloud's coming offense season. White Cloud hold the puck right there. On the side, Haddon bring the puck to the side. Uh, the ball behind the net, recovery by Vegas. Uh, Vegas right now hold the puck, pass the puck behind. Go through the puck right now, change the direction all the way by uh, Carrier. Carrier wrap up the puck, shoot the puck. Uh, Haddon make a save, recovery again by Carrier. Carrier bring the puck to the line. White Cloud to Hog. Hag right now bring the puck to uh what what to white cloud white clouds coming shoot the puck black shot for the motor in the end no cold coffee get out of zone cold coffee in the zone love the part a bit too far but the blown pay park to um 
recovery part they disallow. Back to uh, Caulfield. Caulfield pass the puck to that. Back to the ski. Leave the puck behind. Fire puck, Montreal. Big safe by Hill. Recovery part of uh, Montreal. At the blind. David Salau. Pass to the ski. Looking right now. The ski hold the puck. Holding again. Keep controlling. Drive the puck to Salau. Uh, to Caulfield. Caulfield in this direction. Caulfield behind the net. Uh, bring puck to the side. Recovery part Montreal. Can again. Back to the guy. Fire Salau. Miss the net completely. The puck go outside the zone. And uh, going to bat. Uh, break away for the Vegas. And right side. Hiding. Fire puck. Uh, Miss a block shot by Allen, recovery by the Vegas, uh, battle for a cold coffee, don't be the park. Very excited game so far. Both teams go excited, go back and forth. Go Vegas coming back in offense season. Don't be park behind Allen, battle with the left side of Allen with the Montreal Canadian. We have three players right there. The puck go behind the net, recovery by the Montreal Canadian to rim the puck around the board. I intercept at the blind part. Uh, Marcia so shoot the puck and then make a say rebound. Smith shoot and Allen intercept the puck with the glove. I'm going to definitely get the first. Uh, uh, say by Jake Allen with a glove tonight. Uh, again, the Vegas go tonight, and that's what we got so far at the Bell Center. KLS, uh, welcome aboard. That's why you have a, du- a big WTS tonight. William McClary is in the house. Thank you so much. Roger Delaney is in the house. Everybody back in the house. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to click on the likes. And Montreal just at the park. Passes catch the sea. Back to Evans. Evans coming. Fire park. A black shot by the, by the defenseman. The puck goes slightly. And he'll decide to stop everything and put the glove over the puck. We're going to restart on the left side of Aden Hill. We know Hill came from the San Jose Sharks. A trade for the fifth round pick. And game winning is in the house. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to see that uh, what happening tonight at the Bell Center. Face off on the left side of uh, Hill. Uh, we have on the ice a uh, winning Panama Twelve Canadian. Hold the puck by Whiteman. Bring it back for that. And he'll make a save. We can re travel uh, to Park by the Vegas. A little bit too far. Sarkowski lose the puck. Now coming back now on the fence season. It's a uh, Vegas try to park to the side, intercept by Slavkowski. Don't park to the side, intercept by Amir. Amir control park, Amir keep controlling. Amir fire park, he'll make a save. What a shot by Joel Amir. And uh, he was shocked and uh, surprised by the, the the power of that shot of Joel Amir on the wrist shot. A great play in front of Theodore. And this is going to lose, guys, the first uh, timeout of the night, uh, TV timeout. Uh, that's going to be back in the next couple of minutes. Uh, here we go. Let's go, Luciano. Come back over there. The leave, take the lead. 1 0. Here we go. Great play for the leave, take the lead. Uh, Roger said Clemson ranked number four. I think he's a football. If I watch uh, the Notre Dame football, Roger. Stu, so, here we go. We're going to wait uh, more of the Brown Prices skate uh, tonight. Uh, KLS. Uh, wow. Here we go. Winning by the Montreal Canadian Coffee. Bringing part behind the net. The Dak, a little bit too far. Recovery by Vegas on the right side. Uh, battle right away by Mark Stone. Stone right now. Pass the part behind uh, to <coughs> McNabb. Still part of Montreal Canadian. Call. Coffee. Keep control of the park. Coffee. The Ashmack. Coffee. Hold. 
Got free brain pie, should have park here, the snake, Ray Bond in front of that, battle for Kirby Dak, I believe. They just tried to get a puck outside the zone, finally recovery, Palma 12, don't be part behind. Siski now behind the hill, Siski hold the park, the goal line, Siski to the blue line, set up now by uh, Caulfield, Caulfield back to uh, what, Siski, fire puck in the back door. Great play, Palma, the Vegas, uh, Caulfield don't pay a puck, intercept uh, by the Vegas, uh, they are coming back into the zone, battle roll the back, uh, battle roll the way to uh, Max Stone, kick out the puck to Ekal, Ekal. He called down the puck, Allen intercept, back to Gaul to Saval. Saval pass the puck to Caden Coley. We have new plus coming for both teams. And Montreal Canadiens have six shots so far since the beginning of this game versus three. So far, Montreal hanging there, my friend. That's the score for the Dan Ashan. will come back in the house. And the puck going out of the blind. We have a Dele outside and going to restart on the left side of the Notre Zone. Here we go. Thanks, everybody, to be with us tonight. We appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Uh, the good book, uh, the puck go behind Jake Allen. Recovery right there. And the battle right there by Whiteman. Whiteman reset the corner. But what else? With Colson, the four line of the both team are on the ice. Uh, Whiteman, on the point, it was on kick right now by Armia. And then front of the net, uh, in front of the bench, uh, recovery, uh, White Cloud. White Cloud play the puck. Don't play the puck. Montreal comes to recovery by Monahan. Money is coming now. At the blinds, coming now, hold the puck. Money and try to get around the board. And just seven out by the, the figures go tonight. Battle with Money and Money just battle right there. Great play by Money and just now joining by Dwayne and Hoffman. Great hit by Jordan Manson and Money and Don't Pin Park. Dwayne tried to get a puck. He intercept as a part to White Cloud. Hit by the Montreal Canadian pressure by Jordan Manson. Montreal hold the puck at the blue line. Great play right there by Hoffman and Dwayne. Don't pin the puck. The battle at the blue line. Battle all, all the way back, and the puck go back to uh, money and shoot the puck, miss the net completely, turn around behind the net, uh, reset by the Montreal, hold the puck at the side, bring the puck to the front net. Uh, Alfman completely missed the shot, recovery by the Vegas to good night, dumping the puck uh, over the Edmondson. No, I seen the puck go behind the net. Uh, Jake Allen battle with Masha So, a Carlson, Montreal love the puck, coming back in offense on Mike Alfman to the red line. Hallman hold the puck, try to pack to Dwayne. Dwayne chasing for the Pietro Angelo with a shoulder check. Uh, bring the puck around the board. Uh, Chip bring by the Montreal Canadian uh, by Kenan Coley in front of uh, Marcheso. The puck go by the net. Uh, McNabb and uh, Martinez lost his edge. I uh, have uh, like a bowling, uh, bowling pin right now fall apart and then recovery by uh, Marcheso. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. TES uh, blood, blood Line. Montreal going to have a delay of sight. By the biggest go tonight, going to reset uh, all the way back uh, on the ice. Uh, great hit by Joet Edmondson, by the way, uh, on the match. So, and then we have uh, uh, again Ren Smith. Way to go, Lee. First line. Here we go. Go, Abs, go. Thank you, Michael. Go behind the net, recovery went out by uh, Saval. Saval to Coley, ran the park, and they set up Vegas, bring the park to the line. Set up now by uh, Martinez, uh, Theodore, pass the Hickel, shoot the park, black shot by the Montreal, try to get the park side. Go back to Caulfield, Caulfield's coming out, Caulfield drives the park, now holding the park. Back away at the Ash Mac, lose the park, and try to back to get that, and just by the, uh, Theodore, I believe. She's even out by Caulfield. Theodore now try to get point into the zone. The puck slightly back to Montreal. Can he love the point offensive zone? Pay intercept on Vegas. Vegas pass the puck to Jack Eckhall. Gary Cole back to uh, Stephenson. Bring to Max Stone. Stone hold the puck while he's back. Uh, back to Jack Eckhall. Eckhall will have a four point. Or you have a one point in the last four games. Uh, have a strike of four games. Uh, back now to Eckhall. Show the puck in left his side. Battle right away by Kenan Coley. Intercept on Montreal. Can he on it was on a little bit too far for Carfield. Reset now by Kubilak. We're going to regroup Montreal. Can he New plus coming for both. Team. We have just crossed the halfway of the first period. Welcome back at the Hockey Nation Live show. And David Saval behind Jake Allen set up the break out, pass up the side of Coley. Coley right now, and it was on Don Pay Pike by Saka C. Bring Pike behind the net, and she's saying Pike uh, Hag. Hag pass up the white glove. And now we set by Neutral Zone by Vegas, intercept by Montreal Canadian. They're going to return on the offensive zone, Montreal. But all the way back, Colsar. 
Gonzalo went out, ran the puck to Ag. Ag ran the puck around the board. Montreal pinched, but the puck was slightly back on defensive zone. Now Vegas coming okay, on offensive zone. They bring the puck to the right. Uh, White Cloud recovered the blue line. Don't pin the puck at the goal line. Chase went out by the Montreal Canadian. Now we have a battle behind the net. Uh, Sail the puck right there by the Vegas. Bring the puck to the side. Adam McKessay recovery now on the right side. Who are control the puck? We know who are having a great game last time. Back to Hag. Shoot the puck. Uh, black shot by Montreal Canadian. Sarkowski turn around. Sarkowski behind the net. Sarkowski control the puck. Keep control of the puck. Drive the puck behind. Great play by uh, Sakaski to reset. Everybody bring new players uh, all the way back. Uh, Harbour is going hiding behind Jake Allen. And less than nine minutes to go remaining on this uh, game between both teams. They'll go back right now by Edmondson. Bring the puck zone. Intercept by Vegas. Pass the puck to the right side. Hannon. She's swimming up by Harbour. Harbour changed the direction. Intercept by Vegas. Going tonight. Phil Castle. Bring the puck to the blind. Intercept by Caligar. Caligar pass the puck. Little bit between the skate of Devorak and the control the puck. But still the puck by the Montreal. Try the puck. Fire puck. Uh, Caligar. Lose the puck all the way back. Recovery by Montreal. Can it shoot the puck again? Intercept right away back over there. Look like Devorak is out. Uh, because as uh, this keep played with that line over there, it would be interesting to see that Vegas coming back. It comes on the back door. Allen make a save on the back door by the shot of Martinez. Uh, Anderson calls the puck. Madison hold the puck. Anderson shoot the puck. Uh, black shot right now by the Mekna, uh, by Pietro Gelo. Look like he's a bit in pain. Recovery by Montreal. Shoot the puck by Iris. Uh, Miss the net uh, barely. Recovery right now by Gallagher in front of Pietro Gelo. Bring the puck to the line. Reset by the Montreal. Can he don't pay the puck? Hold the in the net. Uh, now we're set by Zizki. Love cannot control the puck. But now still the puck by Jonathan Drouin. Drouin passes the puck to Zizki. Behind the goaltending. Now Zizki loves the puck at the blue line. We're set on out by Jordan Harris. Looking now. Shoot the point in there. Tip in front. Intercept by William Carlson. Pass the puck to Marcheson. On the trezon. A great, excited game so far. Both teams play very well. A great execution game so for both teams. And Manan try to get the puck deep zone. Battle of the ash mark at the right side of Hill. Finale puck at the zone. The Golden, uh, Golden Knights have been pushed the puck behind the net to Savard. Savard, yes, the puck, the puck, neutral zone. Try to get a transition. Great play by Joel Armia. They're going to reset now all the way back. Uh, on neutral zone, reset by the Montreal Canadian. Hold the puck all the way back uh, by uh, Monaghan, I believe. Don't put the puck behind the net of the Golden Knight. Uh, now the puck will be rent the puck to the side. Recovery by Phil Castle. Uh, Mr. Hot Dog is on the ice tonight uh, for the Golden Knight. Uh, pass recovery by the man and pass the puck to regroup by Montreal Canadian. D to D. Don't pay part behind the net. You're going to have new players coming. Last seven minutes ago, remaining guys uh, on this third period. Very excited, very fast game. And we're going to have new players. Uh, Theodore hold the puck, pass the puck to the side. Now we're just coming in front with speed. Coming back in the Trazon. Control puck in the back door. Stone shoot puck. He missed the net barely. Great opportunity for Max Stone. And we know Max Stone has successes. He's really successful against Montreal. Intercept by Hag. Shoot the puck. Hit it. A turnover. And the Vegas go tonight. A great shot of defenseman Nicola Hag. Show the puck. We're going to see the replay. I think Edmondson gave away the puck. And that goal happening. And this is the seventh shot. The Vegas go tonight. Score the first goal of the night against the Montreal Canadiens. We have a giveaway puck over there. We'll see what's happening. Uh, yes, uh, it's happening. A uh, turnover on the defensive zone by Jordan Minson, I believe. And that's happening. One goal for the Vegas goal tonight. Uh, Ag score. That's happened. And the Vegas goal tonight considers the success uh, on the road. Uh, I'm going to add the shot. Uh, Now we're going to reset uh, on the neutral zone. Reset by Montreal Canadian. The four line is on the ice right now. Jake Allen, Jake Evans with uh, Sakoski and Mike Hoffman. Montreal Canadian, long the back on the back to Jake Evans. Control the Pass the back to the side. Controlling right now by Montreal Canadian. Don't pay back behind Sakoski. Battle right now with White Cloud. Army are trying to get a puck. We have a whistle. The puck is out of the play, I believe, with 8 6 or 8 to go. Go leave, go ox, they said. Here, we're going to get the, the stat uh, about what we got so far. Seven shot guys, uh, percentage of the face up is at 56 uh, 44, guys. Uh, and uh, the block shot, uh, Montreal, uh, six, uh, Vegas is at seven. The takeaway, two, Vegas, and then three from the Montreal Canadian. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
That's what we got so far. We're going to wait. Uh, Chantal Lewin, uh, back in the house. Chantal, welcome back. Uh, uh, nice coach. Uh, you're welcome, uh, KLS. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to bring you some information, guys, like that. Uh, come on, uh, people, hit the like. Thanks so much, Danny. Very kind of you about this one. Uh, Okay, guys, to click on the likes. First off, now on the other side of the hill, uh, recovery by Prudential, open angel, try to get a puck, intercept by that, that try to go field, intercept by Mastinari's uh, battle on the left side of the hill, recovery by that, that at the blue line, a little bit too far. We we'll go back at the Emerson. Emerson loved the puck right there, looking, hold the puck, uh, pass the point into a zone uh, to Carfield, Carfield to Ziski. Back to Dak. Dak control the puck at the right side. Dak now hold the puck in the back door. Fire puck, Coffee Libby! Cold Coffee score! It's a one to one. Cold Coffee, an amazing great pass for Kirby Dak and the Montreal Canadian. Tied the game one to one, ladies and gentlemen. What a pass, what a shot of Kirby Dak. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Number eight of the year, Mr. Cole Caulfield. Tidy game one to one. Uh, that's what we got at the Bell Center. Uh, the Vegas coming back and shoot a puck, and then I didn't make a save. Uh, what a shot, guys. Uh, we have some pushing all the way back over then. Why, well, Jagai with uh, Coleslaw? We have Carrier behind. Check out was ready to rock and roll the pass over there. And that's happening about this. But what a, what a, what a goal of Cole Caulfield. What a shot. And the Montreal Canadiens that take, uh, you know, tie the game 1-1. One, one, uh, Haber in the middle. Again, uh, William McClary said Dak 5.4 games since put on the line. Yes, Zeph uh, is looking great. Uh, could be Dak, honestly with that line, and that line make a big impact for sure for the Montreal Canadiens. Again, this is the line. We have a jacket was ready to rock and roll at uh, Colesaw. Salut, Pierre Martin. I were in the middle again, the app. Thanks so much, everybody, to be ready to rock and roll again. Uh, great uh, game so far for both teams. We have eight shots for both uh, so far. We're going to set the puck behind the net of uh, Hill. Uh, chasing went up by uh, uh, Anderson. Back to Stone. Stone and Stone passed the puck to the side. To recover the puck to uh, Stephenson. Pass the puck to Theodore. Theodore has come in offensive behind Allen and shoot a point from the net. And it's also out by uh, Martina, uh, McNabb. And McNabb back to Stone. Stone in front of McNabb. Money ahead. Money in recovery. Now by McNabb. McNabb bring the puck. And Montreal try to get pressure. Finally, still the puck. Great play by Kevin Coley. Now coming in offensive zone. 
as a part behind of uh, Montreal Canadiens, don't paint part of the corner, chasing by Cooley in the goal line, or paint the part behind the net, the reset by uh, Stephenson. Uh, Stephenson turn around, Chatler, Stephenson uh, play on the first line. Now everybody change uh, on the bench. I'm going to reset uh, less than five minutes to go remaining on the first period. 1-1. One, one. Caulfield score is eighth of the season, and Hag score is first of the year. Go back right now, the right. We control it by Pierre Vangelo. Pierre Vangelo hold the puck all the way back. Next coming, shoot the puck, uh, hit the stick of the defenseman. Montreal can hit puck all the play. We're going to reset on the left side of the the Jake Allen, but what a shot of Cole Caulfield, guys. I'm really impressed by this young man for the Montreal Canadian. Power. Here we go. We want to welcome back. Uh, we have Mr. Robert Austin in the house tonight. Welcome back, Mr. Austin. We have KLS. Uh, we have Dougie uh, Sherwin. Welcome in the house. Uh, thanks to be with a part of the show tonight, uh, everybody. Thanks to be with us. Uh, we have to wait for the park drop back. We're going to go on the play by play. Uh, that's what we have. Uh, glad you are on the chat. Uh, here we go. We have a touchdown, Michigan, uh, KLS said. Peter Angelo hold the power now. Bring the power back. Uh, power play for the uh, for the <clears throat> four versus four. By the way, I apologize. A forty nine second to go. Four versus four. Park now. We guess at the right side. Hand and control by Peter Angelo hold the power. Bring it back to the left corner. Go winning part of Vegas. Go to night. Turn around right now. Pay. Uh, Holden, I believe, bats up by the goal line, bats up by the goal line, Peter Angelo. The Montreal play man to man, by the way. Control the puck all the way back at the left side, Jack Hackle. Control the puck at change the direction, hold the puck all the way back in front of Emerson. Hackle right there, drive the puck behind it to Holden. Holden's coming back. You know, it's a uh, <coughs> Matt Nice, I apologize. Matt Nice with butt, pass the puck, Jack Hackle. Should the puck, we got it by Montreal Canadian, set up on the other side, pass the puck to Josh uh, to Montreal Canadian, hold the puck with there, kick out the puck to the side. Holding by uh, uh, Aris. Aris in the direction in front of uh, Marshall. So pass the puck to the side. Fire puck! Uh, they had block shot by uh, Hill. And the puck of that train. Bien and Trejo don't pay the puck. Five versus five. Go back all the way back by Jordan Aris. Uh, behind the goaltending of the Jake Allen. Go to reset uh, there with new plus coming. 321 to go remaining on the third first period between Montreal and the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, uh, we still. Uh, Right now, one fire puck uh, over the head of Hill uh, to go back with behind the net. Uh, recovery in front of Hoffman. Hoffman kick a puck in front of the net. Shoot a puck. Hill make another save. Go back right there by Jake Evans. Shoot a puck right now by Saval. Back to Hill. Uh, Heaven dump the puck on the left side. Montreal stay attacking right now. Battle all the way back on the left. Intercept now by Cooley. Cooley pass the puck to Hoffman. Hoffman to Jake Evans. Turn around by the biggest. Go tonight. Use the board to get out of the zone. The puck dump in the puck all the way back behind Jake Allen. No icing, said the linesman. Go to a set by Cooley. Cooley hold the puck all the way back now. Control to the neutral zone. Pass the puck to, uh, uh, to uh, I don't know, they were wreck, I believe it. No, it was the one. Pass the puck to the corner. Hit right now by the biggest. Go tonight uh, by, uh, with uh, Jake Evans. 
lose the battle on the puck, recovery by Vegas. Vegas come in and throws on. He controls the puck now on the right side. David Savard left the puck corner, chasing it out by Carrier. Four line for the Vegas good night. Bring the puck behind it. Intercept by Arbor. Arbor lose the puck in front of Roy, who was coming now. In front of the net, Corsa make a save. No rebound. We're going to see what's happening there in front of the net. We have all the way back, a battle all the way, and not nothing else happening there. We have Saval there, Kosar, Jackai, the big gun, the big guy are right there on the ice. Uh, that's happening. Seattle, zero. And the, Minnesota, uh, the Pittsburgh, zero. Run with King, welcome back in the house. Uh, thanks to be up. Uh, John uh, Simia, welcome in the house. Uh, John, uh, everybody else, thanks to be a part of the show. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Uh, we are on the straight up 11 game with one of the uh, likes we would love to reach uh, this number again if it's possible that'd be great uh, if you don't mind to click on the likes uh, go to reset at the left side of jake allen uh face up 45 likes rj we are almost at the halfway we need more we have a lot of people in the chat uh, would be great if we can get that number tonight 11 uh, 100 uh, the pago band in Edmond 12 set up their breakout uh, coming back in offensive zone lose the puck back in this offensive zone back to max strong stone pass the puck to I call. I call draw the puck at the blind. Shire puck. Uh, block shot by Allen. Go back in the corner. Max Stone win the puck. Sackling the puck. It's intercepted by uh, Montreal. Go back now to Anderson. Pass the puck to Devarak. Devarak in front of the net. Don't pee the puck. Uh, all the back behind the defenseman. Uh, Hill uh, recovering now by the Montreal Canadian. Gallagher drop to Anderson. Anderson now hold the puck. Change the direction. Anderson the goal line. Keep control the puck. Great play. Pass to the defenseman. Shoot the puck. DDD. Back against uh, Edmondson, lose the puck all the way back. Uh, not a very good period for Edmondson. Now Eichel tried to get a goal to Edmondson. Great play by jo uh, Joel to recovery. Pass the money and back to Edmondson. They're going to regroup now and for the Montreal Canadian. Pass the puck to the other side. Now Montreal attacking now on the neutral zone. Love the puck behind the goaltending hill. The puck love the puck behind. Reset by the Montreal But you have an icing by the Montreal Canadian. Not a really smart play for the Montreal. They're going to reset on the right side. Uh, of the Jake Allen. That's what we got. Uh. One zero Toronto. Go back right now on offense, uh, defense uh, neutral zone. Go DD set up now by uh, uh, it was uh, get a goalie. Saba recovery puck now. Pass the puck to the side. Montreal attacking now. Controlling by Caulfield. Caulfield change the direction. Buy some time. Caulfield hold the puck. Caulfield bring by the blue line. We recovery by Cody. Show the puck. Uh, black shot. Uh, we recovery by Vegas. Still the puck with Caulfield. Caulfield to Ski. Ski behind the goal line. Ski tried to get the puck back to Caulfield. Bring the puck to the Ash market. Uh, and finally, the Vegas going to get out of the zone. But intercept for the Montreal Canadian. First one to get there is uh, Saval. Saval we're going to reset. Saval pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield hold the puck to Kirby Dag. Kirby Dag in offensive zone. Kirby tries to get around. Great stick up by the Vegas go tonight. Intercept the puck. Go back. Bounce in the puck. Now Vegas coming back. Almost a 2 1. Hold the puck in the back. Don't fire the puck. Black shot by the Montreal Canadian. I think it's cool. He hurt. Now go back to Montreal Canadian. Love the puck behind the goaltending. And they go back slowly back at the hill. Reset now by the Vegas. Uh, Kaden Coley go back on the bench uh, with some pain. Recovery went out by the Vegas. Go tonight. Attacking went out on the other side. And funny net shoot the puck. How to make a save. Great play by William Carrier, I believe. Montreal attacking went out. Pass the puck. We have penalty possibility for the Montreal Canadian. But we have a whistle anyway. Uh, this is the end of the period. That's happening. <laughs> uh... That's it. That's all. Uh, after 20 minutes, guys, at uh, 1 to 1, uh, that's what we got. We're going to give you the resume of this first period, guys. Uh, first of all, uh, the Vegas Golden Knight opened the score uh, with a goal of Nicola Ag. No assisted at 13 25, first goal of the year. Caulfield assisted by Dak and Munson at 14 16. The shot at 12 14 advantage, Montreal Canadian. So great period for the Montreal Canadian, honestly. Keep hanging there with the Vegas Golden Knights. So that's a, a very impressive. Again, the Montreal did not give up. And they're really good on uh, those kind of situations. So let's see what we got here. We're going to give you that information right there. We're going to give you here.
I'll give you those kind of information here. Give you the resume of his score tonight. Uh, Alan Barnes, welcome back in the house. Uh, goal for Caulfield, uh, first period coach. Yes, Pierre, I agree with you about this. It was great to see that. Uh, so again, it's over his head. Laval, please. Uh, Rick, uh, uh, Rand Kirk, uh, good period. Rand, thanks so much. Uh, nice uh, work in Montreal. Bob, I agree with you. Welcome back. I have our uh, faster team tonight. Uh, great passing, too. I agree, Butch. Uh, good period, first of all, for the Montreal. They have our getting lure. Chance uh, they all play good. I agree with you, Tony. They're still in the game. Just Gaming is on the house. Welcome aboard, Just Gaming. Google, uh, welcome back. Good game for goal there so far. Number eight, uh, Rick, uh, round, but you're at uh, to be round. So far, I'm doggy about the Savkowski. So that's what we got so far, guys. Uh, during the first period, we have, uh, like I said, 14 12 the shot. Uh, and the Montreal Canadiens tied the game 1 1. They have uh, no power, no penalties on the first period. Honestly, uh, 4 versus 4. Uh, <coughs> Colsar and uh, Jack I went to the bench for a double, uh, a double minor. And that's it. We got a uh, very good game, like you said, guys. And that's why we'll be here talking about hockey. So you can ask us anything. I'll be there. Uh, 13, uh, Bench Edmondson gave away uh, like a first-year prospect at uh, 13. Uh, you guys are really hard on the players. Uh. <laughs> now we want to send Sakaski Laval. Now we want to bench uh, Edmondson. Uh, guys, it's a, it's a game of mistake. <laughs> That's it's about. It's happened all the time. It's like uh, Adam McKen. Someone said we should we should have Montembeau now in the game. Like, uh, who is going? We have to trade possibly what uh, Nick Suzuki because he make a turnover. Come on, you have to be more positive about your team. You know what I mean? It's happened for everybody. Nobody talk about mistake of Cole Caulfield, right? But that's happened. It's part of the game. It's to be sure we we get the uh, why is the uh, white man is in WST? It's because he tried. He don't want to get players out of the lineup too long. WST, so he tried to balance. Uh, uh, the key, the player, and the and the game most of the time. Nothing wrong with that part over there. Um, you have a really bad game, Kovacevic, uh, by the way. Uh, WST again, we pay Jet. So sometimes you go to watch the game from the the top of the of the rafter and reevaluate your game. And coming back strong, he's not going to be back at Laval. He's going to take a you know back in the in the lineup. I'm pretty sure on the road, their coach as you are looking better. Okay, last year, what do you think? Yes, uh, Dan, there's a better for that one over there, for sure. Leave 11 shot, uh, bronze 7. Uh, so, you see, with uh, a nice first period, he helped uh, control the game. Uh, I don't see any problem with Savkowski tonight. I think he was pretty good with Jake Evans uh, and uh, Joel Amia. So, 8 minutes a night is a good idea. This, Rick, you have to learn, Rick, the game change. It's not like 20 years ago, Rick. <laughs> you guys, you have to see that. It's good if you play 10 minutes per game. That's a normal situation with any player. That's normal. It's not nine minutes is better and the NHL at 15, 17 minutes in Laval Rocket. Laval Rocket does not do well. What is going to learn over there if the team does not win? If the team don't play great, that's so it's better to play Laval, learning with a teammate, is to be around a great leader, and to learning to become a professional hockey player. It's not about the minute, it's about the progression, it's about development. Don't worry, he played five minutes, he have the best seat in the house. He's on the bench, talking with Gallagher. He's learning, and that's the best way to develop him. Why, do you prefer to have Mike Hoffman on the ice? And, and now have Sapkowski? Come on. You have to be right. That's the new development hockey. How many minutes play Shane Wright since the beginning of the season? Not many. Why? They just taste the player to learning what he looked like in NHL. It's a learning process. It takes three years, guys, before you become a good hockey player in NHL. Look, Lafreniere. He did the same thing at the beginning. They put him on the third line, fourth line with the Rangers three years ago. But nobody talked about this. He never been in the American Hockey League. Most of the time, he played in NHL. So nothing wrong. They're going to put him at Laval if he's not progressed. That's what they are happening with Montreal. 
They know what they are doing. They exactly know what they have. They play with four, six rookies, four rookies for now. Everybody works well. So why, why, why to send him Laval? Uh, I don't think uh, Sarkisi is over his head. He is brought and 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 slowly, but I would be opposed for him uh, to play more minute down if he's brought and uh, slowly. About progression, uh, about this, uh, Vegas are not the fattest team at twenty. No, they are big about this. Uh, uh, Michael, you have right. Uh, they have our friend team. Uh, Zev, I agree with you. Uh, leave our uh, out playing the Bruins. So that's a great news to hear that. I didn't say that, uh, but don't expect for a slime today and his first year. No. Of course, no, Zev. That's exactly. You have to learn in the game slowly. Take a little bit more responsibility. Why do you put him now again number seven on the power play? Because you need to learn. He need to earn it. He need to understand. It's a game, guys. It's not about the goal. It's about learning. Look how Carfield this year. So much difference. So much confidence. Look how he buy the time. Who he find the, the open space, Cole Carfield. He took him one year and a half. He took him over 85 games to figure out everything. Just normal process. Cole Carfield played 11, 13 minutes at the beginning of the, when he started in NHL. Just normal process. That's how it works. 1-1 uh, one, one Buffalo, Tampa Bay, 1-0 Toronto, 0-0 zero, zero, uh, Arizona, Pittsburgh, uh, Washington, Ottawa 1, and uh, Philadelphia 1. Uh, can the Ab be a 500 team this year? I don't see that then, honestly, uh, but uh, it'll be interesting. It's a big, long, long way away. Uh, you lose nothing by letting play a uh, player. To letting a player marine. I don't understand that one, but... Uh, it's not about you lose nothing. You you learn the guys to grow, uh, progressing. Is it better to be teaching by Martin Saint Louis or to be teaching at Laval by Jeff Hall? Mr. Josifo, Josino, welcome back in the house. Thanks so much, uh, Josino. Uh, they should play so I guess he's sixty minutes a game at WST. And shall paycheck is a lot better too. That's another point about this. Uh, uh, I played play very well the first shift, and then I see him in second shift, like at 10 seconds. He was a bench and did that play like 10 minutes. Don't know why. I mean, to play very well the first shift. I don't know. Who are you talking about? Uh, uh, I agree, but look at he play on the third line as first year. Did he need to be sent down? Uh, that's the point. He's going to be down, guys. Goalie, Jack Eye. Iris or Sarkowski if they not progress. That's the only thing. It's been this from the beginning of the season. If the player does not progress, they will send them a Laval. If they progress, they will get there. Our goalie then has been solid all year. Adam, that's a great point about this one. Uh, fun to watch. Uh, yes, Dan, uh, Ab are showing they can compete against any team they play as a team now. Yeah, that's nice. But I see player with the potential, but by letting him Marinate, he will get stronger, learn the North American game. 54 likes, RJ. I don't think I use a shopping. Jordan Manson already waiting for a deal. Pierre Martin. Coach, I uh, have fun to watch. Yes, sir. Uh, Rick, uh, we are great with you. Your division, uh, Marinate, is just different. Uh, KLS, uh, welcome back in the house. Uh, be careful what the uh, calls are. He is a staff guy too, WST. Uh, Marine Egal, Mijoté coach. Uh... All right, thanks so much, Zef, about this. Uh, the nation is not a development league. Completely disagree with you, Rick. It's a league for the young players to learn. What do you think they learn? <laughs> Rick, what do you think they learn? When McDavid show up the first year, what do you think he learned? How do you become a professional hockey player? How do you learn to be a great behavior? How do you learn to become walking sick every day? How do you learn to show up every single day? How do you learn to learning about the system, about the great space, and, and then I can go all the way like that? Where do you learn those stuff like that? Of course, it's the NHL. You develop every single day. Pat Marchand still continues to developing. Martin St. Louis said last year, right? You still consist to learning every day in NHL. 
So why, Rick, he said to us tonight, you're not learning in NHL development. You think you show up in NHL, you say, now I know everything? Of course, no. That's, come on. It, it's not that way, Rick. Come on. What, it, it, the guys show up at 19 years old have no clue how to be a professional, how he needs to know his nutrition, and he have to walk on the rough ice, what he have to do. He has so much thing to do to learn off ice, on ice. It's a league of development for everybody. It keeps constantly to develop every single day. Why the coach has six, seven coaches now in NHL? The power skate, the, the, the sick angling guy, the, I can go all the way like this. It's just, it's a league of development. Of course it is, NHL. McDavid is better today. It was seven years ago. Why? Because he developed an NHL every single day to learning every year to get better and better and better. It's, if this NHL is not a league of development, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, because you need to get better and better every single year as a hockey player. Uh, Pierre Martin, the more uh, experience you get in the NHL, it's always better than eight at Laval. That's, that's simple right there, Pierre Martin. Uh, a super pass by Dak on the goal. Roger, absolutely right about this. What a pass, by the way. Franco, bon martin, Mr. Franco. Uh, Caulfield is uh, loving his new stick uh, that Whiteman also used. The same position from Whiteman. A look at him go off the course coast to St. Louis. His teammate uh, matter, but a stick is a slick. Uh, here we go, uh, Franco, for comments about the stick. Uh, Dak is a major league hockey player. Uh, uh, really interesting the Kirby Dak uh, development. We'll be interesting right now. See if he can reach 40 points, 45 points. Um, people say, well, but he's supposed to be a center. No matter. If he's a winger, I think Montreal will be fine. They're going to find, you know, it's a big 6'4 winger, and then he can be a top six over there, and you can have another center and the NHL, whatever you want to go. Uh, yes, uh, Colsal can fight too. Watch out. Uh, Jeffrey, welcome back, my friend. Uh, Obi Kubel gone from Toronto. Yeah, he was draft. Uh, it was a wave, uh, and then he was claimed by the Washington Capitals. Uh, Good for him, okay? We are comparing McDavid to Sarkisi, Wink. No. <laughs> Jesus, guys, what the hell are you talking about? I just compared the development of McDavid. I can't compare the development of whatever you want to talk. You want to talk about Yannick Gords. Yannick Gord was not drafted. Yannick Gords started with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Rick. Uh, Yannick Gords is the one apart where the Tampa Bay Lightning became a champion. He was have a specific role. Did he learn this with Tampa Bay or he learned this in the QM? Did he learn this in American Hockey League with Syracuse or he learned it's a league where you develop to get better every single day. More time you are in NHL, you practice the morning and you look the video, you study every day. Do you develop to get become better? It's called a process. That's all I was about. If you're thinking you go from Laval, you go to Montreal, you go to Laval, you go to NHL, you don't have to learn anything, but I don't know. But I think you have to go back on the basic hockey 101 and to figure out is a league what you develop to become a better hockey player. It's one you play more in NHL. You're learning to play with better hockey players. That's how it works. More of the players are talented in front of you, better you're going to become. Because you play with a better or great. If you play in American hockey league, where they never play in NHL, you're not going to be a great hockey player. You're not going to learn that much over there. If you think an NHL is not a period of development league, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like the player play with Sidney Crosby, get better around him because they play with Crosby. If you go black and American hockey league, play with David DeHarnay, you're not going to learn a lot, Rick. And when you play with the better players, you get better. If you become the best student in the class, it's time to move out because you're not learning anything. That's the that's hockey. Uh, do you think Goli uh, need to add some mass uh, and weight? Uh, uh, you know, everybody need that WST. I think you need to go strength. It's a learning process. You're going to be sure he's going to learn about his lower body. Everybody on the NHL, I think he's hanging there uh, so far. We'll be interesting. He's coming back in second period. Got a shot at the end of the period, honestly. But we'll be interesting about it. Not a intimate game, uh, Rick. Uh, 
All right, the truth is cooking me. Those, those threats are what a player must give to stay in Montreal now. Yeah, uh, that was one of the games he played 8, 12, 10, and 14 minutes. Don't take one game out of the context. Zev, this is a great point. The reason he did not play more at 8 minutes, guys, because he had 14 minutes of the power play. If you go back at the first game of the season, he played less of 10 minutes. Why? Because they have 16, 18 minutes of power play during that game. You have to figure out what happening during that game. That's just normal. Uh, everything you are said, coach, uh, that's why NHL is improving every year, better and better player every year. Yeah, I think white men should work at Costco. Coffee is better, stay in Wisconsin, sir. Coffee is better, stay in Wisconsin. He was year number two of Eric. Uh, why he did not stay three years over there? That's just normal. That's just normal. And again, and again, and again, Rick, I'm going to tell you, you focus on the eight minute. I'm focused to you to tell you, don't worry about the eight minute. Worry about the development. If he cannot develop, if he's not progressing, if he cannot get better, the Montreal Canadian is going to send him a love out. This is the first word when they draft Sapkowski in July. So far, he's still in Montreal because he's not, the, he's, he's, he's still in Montreal because he progressed. That's simple. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing wrong with that. But again, he's going to go Laval when they fail, when they fail, where they, he need to get there because he's not progressing. And that's the only way you can do that. So it's just a, just a period. It's just a question of time to see how you're going to do with time. Uh, I think they will uh, win. I think, yes, sir. Uh, MBO 22 in the house. Uh, okay, Rick, uh, you uh, have your point. It does not mean we have to agree, but uh, respectful of the opinion. Uh, like to teach a young man about this, uh, uh, Arbor, I was told, but just a great, perfect, it was great. Here we go, second pair started, guys. Uh, Puck in the troisième zone, intercept by the Vegas, coming back, Max Stone's coming, the left side, I had him back the back door, fire Puck, Stephenson, intercept by Eichel, bring Puck to the side, battle right the way back uh, on that side, recovery by Theodore, don't be part behind the carrier, carrier don't pay the Puck right now, battle on the left side, wrap up the Puck, lose the Puck in front of the, uh, I think it was Jonathan Dwayne, bring the Puck to the side, Montreal, get out of the zone. Now controlling right now by Alfman. Alfman kick out the puck to the side to Whiteman. Intercept by Vegas. They are coming back. Vegas now in the offensive zone. Control the puck right there. Why bring the puck to the back door in front of Albert? Recovery right now by Montreal Canadian. Get past the puck behind. Alfman hold the puck at the blue line. Don't pin the puck behind the goaltending. Chasing the puck very slowly. Back again by Theodore. Intercept by Alfman. Battle right away at the left side of the hill. Recovery by Max Stone. Stone pass the puck to. Theodore, long stretch band into his own. Don't play a part behind the goaltending. Allen, had him play a puck, render puck around the board to back uh, to Saval. Saval left the point into his own. It's a seven out by a uh, coffee on the back door. Pass the puck all the way back up by the Montreal Canadian. Set up by Zizki. Don't play a part behind Hill. Intercept the puck all the way back right there. Hold the puck. Pass the puck, render puck. Pinch right up by David Saval. The puck turn around. Fire puck. Black shot uh, by the defenseman by Nick Zizki. Shot uh, recovery by the, the Theodore. Recover battle right now on the left side of Hill. Intercept right now and it was on by the Vegas coming back now in front of the bench. Hold the puck in the offensive zone at the right side of the left side of Allen. Hold the puck in front of the net. There no chance of recovery, but could be that. Dak pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield to Suski. Love the puck to Dak. Dak's coming now. Don't pin the puck. No, intercept the puck in the trois zone. Reset by the Montreal Canadian. David Savard. New players coming from the Montreal Canadian and go back to. Pierre Jolou leave the puck. Now the guest coming back in the other zone. Hold the puck in the red line. She can change the direction, direction by Jack Eckle. Back the point the back door. Control him now. Shoot the puck. Eh? Pass the puck behind the net. That recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Set up right there. Pass the puck to the ski. Pass the puck to the side. Don't put the puck behind it. Chasing by Josh Anderson. Hold the puck behind the goaltending. White Cloud and Hag. Pushing by Gallagher. Pinching right now by Montreal Canadian is uh, uh, Sarkoski, I believe. They'll go back outside the zone. It was they were rack up on the side. I sing for the Vegas Golden Knight. I'm going to reset all the way back on defensive zone of the Vegas Golden Knight. And that's what we got so far.
one one that make the most hit was a fully on the player the new version better and go to hit them a road that go abs go Pierre Martin good night a bonne journée mon coach merci And see, so every year, plan the new shirt are better than ever it was. Uh, if you see like, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. I uh, face off now on the right side of uh, Hayden Hill. Uh, we have Carlson on the eyes uh, holding the puck right there for new players coming. Change the formation for the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, William Carlson face to the uh, Josh Anderson. The uh, winning went out by the Vegas Golden Knight. Hold the puck to White Cloud. Set up the breakout. Use the puck by the left side. Coming out Vegas at 2-1 on the left side. Hold the puck right away. Great play. And shoot the puck back and forth. And Raleigh Smith score. Great play at 2-1. The Montreal Canadiens got caught at the blue line. Will be interesting to see that play again. And the Vegas Golden Knight score. Take the lead. Raleigh Smith. A turnover. Uh, by the Montreal Canadiens get beat at the blue line. And it was... Uh, Edmondson again, I believe, uh, was on the eyes of Jordan Edmondson jumping all the way back over there and too far. And uh, Montreal lost 2-1 uh, right now. Uh, great play. Uh, Marcheseau, uh, Carlson, and Riley Smith. Smith score for the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, Here we go. We're going to reset now on the neutral zone. Uh, don't pay the park behind Adam. Adam passed the park left side uh, to Arbor. Arbor passed the park to the right side. In front of net, uh, winning the battle. Fighter Vegas go to the night. Finally, it was uh, Montreal to get the park as on turnover. Then now Vegas calls for the park. Vegas now is coming. Hold the park to the blind. Set up now to make nap. Uh, to fire park the other. Black shot by Montreal Canadian. And turn around by shoot the puck again for the net. Uh, and just seven out by Whiteman. Try to get back outside the zone. Uh, we have a Montreal Canadian hurt. Uh, and I don't know which one is it, but uh, it's going to turn around with there. Vegas coming back. Uh, Vegas hold the puck and finding that uh, at the back door and pushing it up. Arbor, we have penalty, I believe, for the Montreal Canadian. Arbor get there. And Sakoski guys uh, got hurt. Uh, Sakoski now get out. Sakoski guys uh, cannot walk on his leg. Wow. So, possibly Sakoski went out. Not looking good. Ah, he turned his leg, guys. And we have a power play for the Vegas Golden Knight. First of the night. Sakaski in the locker room. Albert got a two-minute. Uh, Aris played like a match model. Uh, Aris getting beat all the time. Uh, he was not beat, WST. He was the one. <laughs> WST, Jordan Aris was the one. Uh, the 2 1. He was the only one alone. It's Jordan Manson got caught at the red line. They go back right now. Renee by uh, the Vegas Golden Knight. Back to Marcheseau at the Ash Mark. Hold the park. Bring it by the goal line. We sell right now by uh, Stephenson, I believe. Back to Mar Marcheseau. Marcheseau is coming down looking. Fire park. Uh, black shot by Edmondson. Go back in the corner. Recovery by Prudential. Bring it by the goal line. Fire park. Uh, black shot by Montreal Canadian. Great play. Now back in the corner. Battle right away. Stephenson. Bring it back to the left side. Go back out of the play. I'm uh, going to reset the, all the way back over there. Uh, our start is looking. Uh, Canadian will come back. Uh, go abs. Alexandre Maillard will come back in the house. Uh, Mr. Alexandre Maillard. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Uh. Go back right now to the left side. Show the point for the net. Uh, had to make a certain rebound behind. No. Uh, whistle again. Uh, and that's gave them another shot for Vegas. Go tonight. Uh, power play Vegas. Uh. Uh, be, uh, be, uh, just a minute. Can I beat Oscar Pilon Aris? Uh, wow. I don't think so. You watch uh, Jordan Aris during the weekend. Uh, Justin Ar uh, Byron and during the weekend. WST and Laval. Penny shot, Marshman, uh, Marchand. They live already working. William, face off now on the left side. Battle with Monahan. Winning part of Toronto and part of Vegas. Uh, pass the part of the left side. Uh, we have uh, Marchessault uh, Mar uh, on the bumper. Old Vegas goes to the park right away. Left side, Adam. I think Jack Eckle. Control park. Pass the part to Provincial. Back to Eagles. Coming down. Pass to Provincial. Fire park. Island makes a rebound. He put the glove over it. And we're going to reset on the left side of Jake Allen. 
control, the puck controlling is really good for the Vegas Golden Knights on that power play. Sakoski is back on the bench, guys. Uh, good news to hear that. Go Bruins. Uh, uh, Marchand score, Kelly said. Uh, Sakoski back to the bench. Let's see how his ice time goes. Uh, take some off, Franco. The Leaves are really working the stretch uh, tonight. Big time, William. That's awesome to see that. Uh, thank you, Kelly. But go back now on the right side. Pat Prevengelo, hold the puck while you back. That's this guy on the left side. I think Max Stone, hold the puck while you back on the left side. Bring the puck to the side. Great slice. I had to make a save in front of Marcia. So no rebound. And a great jumping. 52 seconds remaining on the power play for the Vegas Golden Knight. And we have a little bit over of 15 minutes to go. Damn. About this. 0-0 uh, baseball. Kelly, you are uh, ready to sunshine to my tonight. Uh, here we go. Zev Lacave called it like this. Uh, Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Face off now on the left side of Jake Allen. Devarak won the face off, uh, back, but the biggest recovery. Pass the puck now on the left side. Theodore, unit number two. Should have parked. I didn't make a say rebound. Puck retrieval. Still par Hua. Hua back again on the Theodore. Theodore back again on the blue line. Hold the puck right there. Pass the puck left side to Kessel. Kessel looking now. Kessel hold the puck. Back to Theodore. Theodore now. Pass to Kessel. Kessel's coming down. Looking now on the back end. Turn around again. Back to Theodore. 25 seconds remaining. Pass the puck left side. In front of the net. I didn't make a save. Recovery from Montreal. And Lien set up now by J. Kevin. Hold the puck to the blue line. Hold the puck with the corner. J. Kevin ran the puck. Change the direction. Hold on out behind the net. Uh, hold on. Evan Ballot with three players. Uh, it's uh, Raleigh Smith, uh, Theodore, and uh, Kessel. A great play by uh, J. Kevin. Now they were just going tonight. Coming back. Rick Smith coming back. Uh, Raleigh Smith. And to seven up on Montreal. And then back to Nick Zinski. Zinski passed the puck to the side to join Amir. And to seven up by William Carlson. They are coming back. We guess uh, we have Evan Strang. Back again on the left side. Controlling right now on the Right side, on that side, Jake Allen. Now that Vegas coming back. Fire puck. Allen, like I said, no rebound. A great play by Jake Allen. We're going to reset on his right side. And that's what we got so far uh, in front of Caden Crayley. And the Montreal resists at the first power play of the night of them. Fleury is not even not in the team. Jake Allen's uh, welcome back in the house. Uh, Jake is not aged on the Minnesota. Uh, not sure, Randy, about this. Uh, uh, the veteran teach the young players. Uh, oh, long time ago. Wendy, not sure about this. Kelly, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Austin, I want to wish for Philly that he was great with them. Uh, Mr. Austin Allen is in the house. Go back, went out by Vegas, hold the puck behind the net, and substitute by Whiteman. But battle went out by Kerry, uh, four line for the for the Vegas on the night. It goes out to pass a crossbar uh, by the by the. Vegas to go back behind the net, reset by Arbor, pass the puck while right the whip in my hand. My name pass the puck in front of the net to Allen. Allen pass to Whiteman. Had Whiteman back to uh, Arbor. Arbor down Peter Park, Panama Montreal Canadian, by Zuski. Now the recovery in front of Caulfield is the White Cloud. White Cloud's coming back in front of Caulfield. White Cloud in the zone. Pass the puck left side. Calls out down Peter Park behind Allen. Allen is also the puck. Pass the puck to Arbor. Arbor hold back. Pass the puck to, um, not sure. My, this is key possible. High sink from the Montreal Canadian with 13.54 to go remaining on the second period. That's what we got. The Montreal have zero shots on the second period, by the way. And that's what we got there. I don't buy one exactly. Well, we want lose the close game, Austin. You're absolutely right about this. I agree. Tampa Bay take the lead to one again, the Buffalo Sabres. We're going to see the, the stat of the game so far. But when he put in Vegas Golden Knight coming back, it's Max Stone. Max Stone hold the puck on the back, on the back door. I couldn't have fire puck. How to make a big save? And so sure now, Stone right there, and empty net right there. Oh, he was close right there. How to make a, just a spectacular save on the back door of Stephenson. A great pass by Jack Agall. Recovery now, but Vegas Golden Knight coming out in the trois on hip control the puck right the way back over there. Uh, pass the puck to the left side, control right now by Chuck Ackle. Bring the puck in. Montreal to get a puck recovery. Records for the puck. Uh, black shot recovery by uh, Kirby Dak. Turn around. Montreal is tired right now with Kirby Dak is on the ice. Uh, turn around now by the Vegas. Uh, pass the puck to the side on the back door. Controlling now the side. Had a fire puck. A black shot by the defenseman. Edmondson. The puck goes outside the zone. Chasing by Carfield. He's uh, going to go back on the bench and uh, recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Lab the puck. 
and uh, then battle right that way by Josh Anderson. Don't pay Barbie on hell. We can pay Pelinjolo. We're going to reset on the left side of Pelinjolo. Of the recovery over there. Go back now on the offensive zone of the Vegas Vodix battle for Paco Day. Recover the goal line. Bring it back behind to uh, Marcheso. Marcheso in front of the Max, uh, Max, uh, Denis Sav well, David Savard. We go back on dumping by Josh Anderson. Recovery by the Vegas in front of the bench. Uh, recover the red line down the park. Uh, uh, left side, recovery by William Carlson. Carlson left side, Haaland. Carlson coming in front of the net. Haaland make a save and no rebound. We're going to reset on the left side of the Jake Allen. And that's concluded this set. Uh, Shift with the and who is the best rookie forward cam by far. Why is on the miscus event not uh, using the logic presenter? We have a TV timeout. Montreal reset right now. We're back over there. Go back behind the net of the hill. Reset the left side over there. Reset by now by the Vegas Golden Knight. Coming back now in the offensive zone. By the Vegas, hold the puck at the blue line. Keep control the puck over there. And set up by Marcheseau. Control the puck behind the goaltending of Allen. Reset the, uh, the blue line. Vegas will now go to the back. Shoot the puck at Tim. Funny that Allen make a save. The Vegas went now all over the Montreal Canadian. Hoffman passed the puck to the side. Back to uh, Monahan. Battle right now on the left. Uh, Vegas battle the back. Win the battle. Bring the puck to the blind. White Cloud and uh, McNabb. Bring the puck to the side. A little bit too far. Recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Uh, is in front of McNabb. Recovery by the Alfman. Alfman lose the puck to Cassel. Reset by the Monahan. We have a whistle at the blue line. Go to a set on the left side. Uh, <laughs> Go behind the net, recovery by the Montreal Canadian set up now left side there. Um Thank you, Mr. Thirteen. Yeah, possibility twenty, Marina Row. Go back behind the net, uh, set up right now by the Montreal Canadian, face safe by the goat ending hill. Go back to the left side. Don't play the puck for Vegas. Coming down the third zone. Kick out the puck to the left side. Controlling it up by Hag. Hag scored the first goal for Vegas tonight in front of Sarkowski. Battle over low in the corner. Sarkowski, Hag. Intercept now behind the net. The battle right now by Edmondson. The call south win the battle. The full line for the Vegas is on the ice. Call south turn around. Control the puck to the left side. Harden. Try to pack the blind. Set up now the DDD. Set up the Hag. 
I can bring it back behind the side, clean the pocket, and for the carrier, carrier to console. Bring it back with an outpipe, uh, as is key. Bring it back in front of the net. Uh, we're setting out by the Montreal Canadian, love the puck, and it was done by Sukoski. Uh, turn around by the Vegas Golden Knight. Pass the puck to White Cloud. White Cloud to Ash Mark. Uh, turn around by the Montreal Canadian, still by Sukoski. Control the puck all the way back uh, around, uh, and still the puck by the Golden Knight. Uh, go back to the left side. Uh, now the Vegas Golden Knight, the Trezant. Keep control the puck to the left. Uh, all the puck right out of the goal line. They set up the white uh, eagle. Shoot the puck. Black shot by Allen. But all by the net. Uh, it's a seven up on Montreal. And then Cody pass the puck to Coffee. Coffee to scare the blue line. Then the ski hold the puck with the back. Don't pay the puck. Pay Kirby Dak. Now in front of the Pierre and Jalou. Still the puck. Uh, Pierre and Jalou behind the net. Bring the puck to Jack Hackle. Now Hackle bring the puck behind the net. Uh, uh, Hill. It's a seven up on Pinch by the Montreal. And then it's a Coffee. Bring the puck to the side. They go back down. It's the Montreal. And then Pinch. But too far. They're just coming back in the offensive zone. Don't pay part at the goal line of Allen. Stephenson, first one to get there. Coffee try to get a puck around. Intercept by Vegas go tonight. First of all, Savo recovery. Go back to the right side. Recovery for the Montreal Canadian. Hold the puck. Now hold it. Bring the puck to the neutral zone. Pass the puck behind the ski. Intercept by the McNa- uh, by, um, Martinez. Pass the puck to the side. Petrangelo love the puck for himself. Intercept by the Montreal Canadian. The shoulder check by Savo. Read the puck right now. After could be that, I believe. Intercept by Vegas Golden Knight. A puck by the left side. Intercept the shoot. Shoot puck. Allen make another save. Another high danger shot by Vegas Golden Knight. And Montreal struggle a lot on the, this uh, period. Zero shot uh, so far. It's uh, 13. Fire puck. Vegas Golden Knight. Black shot by the Montreal Canadian. Go back to the left side. Recover again. The Vegas are all over Montreal Canadian. Win the battle. Back to Smith. Shoot the puck on the left side. A little bit missing by the puck recovery from Marcheseau. Marcheseau bring the puck to Smith. No, Smith at the Ash Mark. Hold the puck. Back to Carlson. Carlson lose the puck. Recovery by the Montreal Canadian. And then battle behind the net. Uh, Carlson try to get a puck around. Saval to bring the puck to the corner. Finally, the puck turn around. But intercept by again by Vegas. Uh, now Saval love the puck to the side in front of Allen. Reset by the Montreal Canadian. But again, Vegas keep control the puck. Uh, now Montreal try to get a puck outside the zone. Vegas keep controlling again in the zone. Go back now. Fire puck. Allen making the save. Recovery for Montreal. Love the puck in the back ends. Uh, finally, back slowly back on defensive zone of the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, new players coming for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, control the puck. They're hanging there. Barely. They survived. Right? They are the most survivor. Bring the puck to the left side. Jake Allen, first one to get there is uh, Vegas Golden Knight. Battle for the puck on the left side. Cassell over there on the right side. Uh, they were like bringing puck uh, to Saval. Saval right now is on the ice over two minutes. Uh, pass the puck into his own. Pass the puck to the right side to Gallagher. Gallagher hold the puck to the right. Fire puck. Uh, Hell make a save. This is the first puck. Look behind. Uh, and the puck turn around. I thought he could hold it. Pass the puck to Carrier. Bring the puck to the left side. Don't pay by Cassell in front of Jordan Harris. Uh, Cassell Harris battle for the puck. Cassell. Try to get a puck, steal the puck, bring the puck to Ash Mark, winning part of Holden, bring the puck to the blue line, hold the puck, shoot the puck, miss the net completely. They'll go back uh, to in front of Edmondson for the Kessel. Intercept by Gallagher, get, pinch the puck to Iris. Iris, hold the puck, use the board, pass the puck in the zone for the Anderson. Then recovery number 12, fire puck, uh, black shot by Hill, a great pursuit Gallagher, pass the puck to the goaltending. Vegas, hold the puck over there, 7.35 to go remaining on the second period. Recall Vegas 2 and the uh, Montreal won if I think for the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, that's going to go set with 726 again remaining. Vinny, welcome back in the house, uh, Mr. Vinny. Go back on the left side uh, about this uh, 26 shot for the Vegas Golden Knight, I believe, and 16 for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, Shoot the puck while we're back. A black shot in front of the net. Recovery from one end. Battle right now with Nukala uh, Hager. Bring it by the corner. Back by Whiteman. Whiteman pass the puck to the side. Holding for the Montreal Canadian. South Kaski hold the puck while we're back. Holds the other blind. Pass the puck. It was one end. Pass the puck to the side. Controlled by Harbert. Fire puck. Missed the net barely. Pass the puck to the side. Now it's a Montreal. Hold the puck. I think it's Hoffman. Hoffman right now. Controlled puck. Bring it back behind to. Uh, Drouin intercept by Vegas Golden Knight. A back door, use the board. Don't pin the puck in the zone. Set by Whiteman. Pass the puck in the zone. Back again to one end. They control the puck with the back. Kick out the puck. Turn around by Vegas. But finally, Whiteman going to pin the puck behind the net. Off here, he going to intercept. And Montreal grab a new player on the ice. Uh, 2 1 to go. Uh, 2 1 Vegas uh, with 6.45. Now Vegas don't pin the puck in the zone. From the bench, uh, back the puck in the corner. Chase went out by Adam. Intercept the puck. Bring the puck to the side. And from the seventh scene, kick the puck to Saval. Saval changes direction. Hold the puck. Pass the puck to the side. Montreal is coming now. Fire puck. Uh, 
Allen over the left shoulder, Allen on the hill, recovered to the left side, but because one Jake Kevin, I believe, anyhow, Sarkisky battle for the puck at the ash mark, and finally Jake Kevin win the battle, back the puck to Joan Amir, uh, Vince win the puck, uh, bring, keep the puck, back the puck, shoot, shoot the puck, miss the net, put the puck in the air, back to Sarkisky, at the left side of the hill, that's Sarkisky hold the puck at the blue line, Sarkisky bring the puck to uh, Saval, bring the puck to the side, bring the puck in the net, uh, great play right there, Sarkisky battle for the puck in the left side, go to the puck, Sarkisky at hill, he'll make a save, make a save on army on the puck outside the zone, recovery by in front of Saval, uh, Vegas now, hold the puck, at 3 versus 2, at 2 1, high call, shoot the puck uh, over the block, uh, over the island, a great play by uh, Kaden uh, Cooley, the puck go outside the zone, we have a recruit uh, by the Vegas Golden Knight on the defense is on Theodore. Long stretch pass right now. Back behind Carrier. Hold the puck while they're back at the right side. Hannon. Battle for the Montreal Canadian. We have four players right now. The puck stuck between Skate. We have Rua, Carrier, and Kosar with Saval, Coley, and Armia. The puck no go nowhere. We wait right now. We have still 5.20 to go remaining on the second period. But I went away. Bring the puck in the cycling. We go to the coast out in front of the net. Who has shoot the puck? Missed the net barely. Great play by Vegas. Bring the puck behind the net. Battle over the way back. It was called Coffee. Call Coffee lose the puck, but go back in the corner. Just showing up on the Montreal Canadian. It says by the ski. Bring the puck to Coley. Coley bring the puck in the corner. Nobody was there. And now Coley got hit suddenly behind the net. And now Coley recovery. Well, he's going to stand up. Back back at Colsal. Colsal ran the puck to the side. Just by the Montreal Canadian. No chance. Coffee leave the puck. Vegas recovery. Puck shoot the puck. It's up right now, but I guess Coffee loved the part in defensive zone and pushing the part possibly icing. No icing recovery right now. Per Theodore behind here with 440 to go remaining. Long stretch pass, change Theodore. Now turn around right there. Intercept the Montreal can end change the direction. Possibly two versus two. Get out behind back to Gallagher. Gallagher behind the goaltending. Hold the puck on the back end. Hold the puck. Bring to the Ash Mac. Bring the puck to Jordan Iris. Don't pay part behind the net. Intercept now by Vegas. Use the puck to the side. Pension right now by Montreal. Finally, Vegas going to go back on offensive zone. But intercept right now by Jake Allen behind the net. First one to get there is Montreal Canadian. Use the board. Pass the puck to the side. But intercept right now by Vegas on this zone. Going to regroup. And then on pressure from Montreal Canadian. Pass the puck to the side to Edmondson. Pass the puck to um, Iris. Anyway, Vegas coming back on offensive zone. Chasing right now. But we have the icing called by the Leisman. Left for four minutes to go remaining on the second period. Fast period. But dominate by Vegas. Go tonight. Chuck, uh, obviously, we all love and not have and want to see them too well. Uh, here we go. Thanks so much, Chuck, about this, uh, Dougie Austin. Thanks. Uh, go back now on the left side. Four minutes to go remaining on the second period. Uh, go back right now. Winning by Vegas, uh, by Montreal Canadian. Pago outside the zone. Reset now by Jordan Iris. Uh, going to reg regroup. Uh, pass again to Kirby Dad at the blue line. It's coming out on the red line. Kirby Dad try to get a power roll. Intercept by uh, Ag. Ag. Uh, win the puck to the white cloud. White cloud pass the puck to the left side. The Vegas coming back. A great gap control by the Montreal uh, Canadian by um, Saval. Go back behind the net uh, by Cooley. Now, Iris behind the net. Look like uh, Cooley a little bit hurt. But pretty sure he looked like a bang. Now, back to uh, Iris to Saval. Saval pass the puck in this was on. Don't pay part behind the goaltender of Hill. But intercept by Vegas. Uh, Vegas don't pay part. Did offside finally. Vegas coming back. Phil Castle looking now. Phil Castle controlled by Grace Sticker by. Saval, what a play by David Saval again. Could be that on the back end. Pass to Caulfield. Caulfield's one offensive zone. Caulfield hold the puck. Caulfield out. Show the point in front of the net. He'll make a save. Rebound. No chance for uh, Could be that. Uh, finally going to get there. I'm going to have a whistle on the left side. Uh, Cole Caulfield again. Show some kind of like, you know, Cole Caulfield is like a bear. He wait, he sleep, and then he wake up. Uh, what a pass, by the way. Uh, by the two versus one, the guess, sir. Uh, Et vous show, qui est normal, je pense que c'est encore qui Ah, c'est trippant, ça me fait tripper. Je me pense au tout sans appel, parce que c'est les mêmes instruments, puis je sais que le monde t'apprête de venir aimer au bout. Thank you so much, uh, my family. Go à 
Wabs go. Go Wabs go. Go a night go. Dawson Gamer, welcome back in the house tonight. Great pass up by Willie. He said the Southcast need to be sent down at WSD. I agree. Rasa, like I said, it's all on coach hands. Uh, I'll go. Abs go. I don't check the, the chat down anyway, no. We went out for the puck to drop back, eh? and like I said, right now it's 2 1. I beat with the guests and Montreal. Eh? What a storm by the Vegas Golden Knights. Eh? We know that you have a lot of storm in Nevada, and eh, the storm of the Golden Knight at the second period was amazing. Montreal hanging there, Jack Allen have a really good period for the Montreal Canadiens so far. And the puck ran to Hill, go back, and we have another one. So it was 2.56 to go remaining on the second period. As you said, Toronto take the lead, 2-1. Uh, uh, that was what the pick is signed for, a reasonable price. We are going to be happy with him. Back right now on the left side of Hill. Uh, was it for the early morning? Yeah, uh, uh, very important for me. They go back on the left side, recovery from Montreal Canadian set up, and now by Max uh, Davis, about so pass the park went out to Jake Evan. Control the puck the goal line. Uh, keep control of the puck at the behind the net. Uh, set up right now in front of Jack Hakola. Back by Sokoski. Sokoski hold the puck. Sokoski control the puck. Sokoski bring the puck to the blue line. Set up now. It's still the puck. Puck biggest goal tonight. Stephenson pass the puck to Max Stone. Pass the puck to Great Place around. Great play by the defenseman Kaden Coley. We'll go back in the corner. Recovered by Pedro Angelo in front of Sokoski. Pass the puck behind the net to Max Stone. Max Stone the ash mark in front of the Coley. Max Stone hold the puck. Max now. Uh, Recovery, the uh, stick by Montreal, Can excuse me, Montreal Canadian. Jake Kevin bring the part behind uh, to Saval. Saval love the part behind the net uh, of the hill. Chasing one out by Jake Evans. Uh, Reset by the Dallas, uh, by the Vegas Golden Knight. Intercept by Jonathan Dwayne to Amia. Amia bring the part right now to uh, Dwayne, I believe. Turn around by the Vegas Golden Knight. Get out of the zone. Less than two minutes to go. Control the part, bring the part behind. Now it's uh, Meg, uh, Theodore. Theodore right now don't prepare in the corner. Chasing one out. By the Montreal can end to go deeply back to run out by Montreal. Great hit by the biggest go tonight. Uh, the buck down the neutral zone set up by Montreal can end. Fire puck. Uh, Miss the net barely. The puck go back the net. Uh, go back by the biggest go to net coming back. Uh, they're taking right away back on their side. White men run out. Try to get a puck. Pass with no penalty. Go back run out by the biggest go to Montreal. Come back at the red line. Keep control of the puck. Uh, pass the puck their side to Harbor. Harbor on the back door. Turn around by the Montreal can end. Hold the puck on the back of the Ashmark. By the puck at the back door. Harbor. Hold the puck. Harbor right there. Fire puck. Uh, he'll make a say. Rebound. Reset by Perlin Jodo. It's a separate by Montreal can end. The Corner battle right now by Vegas at one fifteen to go remaining on the first period. White men don't pay a park to that side. Money on battle for the park. Money on the one hand. Control park with the back here. Don't pay park break in the corner. Chasing by all men and uh, white men. Throw the park to half men. Show the park. Miss the net. Go, 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 go. Uh, the Vegas a long stretch pass all the way back a little bit too far. Possibly a high night scene. We're going to go back a behind the goal tending with 52 seconds to go. This is the end, the second period. That's so far so good for the Montreal Canadiens. They're hanging there. Like I said, the storm is out. Uh, go, go, go. 62 likes. Uh, I have not heard the right name in a while. Uh, Chuck, you're absolutely right. Uh, John Mickelson in the house. I don't watch my delay, but do like watching your fans complain about the a little bad luck. Uh, but, uh, Send do I ever get there? Hi, right, John. Thanks again. The puck behind the net. Recovery from Montreal. So for C. Pony Party Blind. Fire the puck in Manson. 
Mess the net barely back to Suski, pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield back again to Iris. Iris uh, chant with, with Edmondson. Shoot the puck on the back door. Shoot the puck, miss the net. Back to Iris uh, at the Ash Marker. Pass the puck, go, go south, try to get a puck. A battle for Evans, I believe. Well, Dak bring the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield control the puck. Caulfield uh, looking. Caulfield eat the puck. Back the puck to Edmondson. Edmondson fire the puck in front of it. Black shot right away. Bad play by Edmondson. Don't pay for Iris. Uh, don't pay the puck behind. Prudential try to get a puck outside the zone. Pass the body blind. Recovery for Caulfield. Fire Edmondson! He'll make another save. Back to Edmondson. Back again behind the net. A little bit too far for K uh, Dak. Dak to Caulfield. Caulfield to Dak. Dak contrôle change his direction. Keep controlling. Back to Suski. Four seconds to go on the back door. Now controlled by Iris. Shoot the puck. Miss the net belly. Back to Suski. And finally it's going to be the end of this period. Well, yeah, finished strong this second period. Couple of shots over the hill. But only one goal during the second period, honestly. Uh, came for the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, that's pretty much what we got. Uh, a great pass of Carlson to Riley uh, Smith. Uh, that's gave the uh, Vegas to take the lead 2 to 1 over the Montreal Canadian. Uh, that's what we got so far on the second period. Uh, we get the resume. Smith, four of the season, 224. I stood by Carlson Marcheseau. So we have 16 shots versus seven guys. Six, 16 shots versus seven. Uh, that's what we expect uh, about this one there. Seven shot at uh, 12 for the We're going to give you all the update here, guys. Twenty-two, twenty-eight. Thank you, uh, Boston. And the twelve zone play is far better. Uh, it is played for a guess. It's been awesome. Go abs, go Terry. Hey, welcome back, Mister Terry T. Uh, Lee play well. One goal, that's nothing. Watch, watch, watch them come back. Uh, I Terry go cannot uh, defend himself. Fleury is play great in Minnesota. Danny, thanks so much. That's what we got so far. I'm going to give you the goal here. Two here. Three. I like the chat. That's that. Thanks so much, John. Appreciate a lot uh, for that information. 64 likes. We need more. Allen are giving us uh, an opportunity to win the game. We need to have a good third period. Elder offensive is on uh, time. We are uh, getting really good uh, comments about this. Uh, um, about this nice WC. Uh, that's the team who has uh, deal with good roster. Uh, bad luck to Austin. And don't forget guys, to click on the like. That'd be awesome. That's what we got so far. Go for one of the likes. Uh, hopefully, we can get it. It will be hard. I don't know. The guys, the, the game, the Sunday night, not bring a lot of people. I'm surprised. What well, they said, Fleury, for the night, I haven't thought you won't play with the night anymore. Uh, I don't know, Jake, about this. Uh, Jimmy Ben with a hat trick. Yes, Kelly. Great game for the Dallas Star. Beat the Edmonton Oilers today. I think speed is a key factor for the app. What do you think of? And so one of them, I think sometimes, Tony, when you talk about the speed, it's not always about the fast. It's about the transition, Tony. So, uh, you, you know, you take, turn around, and you come back right away. So the speed comes with the transition, but it's a, it's a great team on the transition or join the rush, uh, uh, Tony. We did not see this for the last seven, eight, six, seven years for the Montreal Canadian, Tony. So you need to have a little bit more mobile players. Under Martin Berge uh, Marc Bergevin, he was more uh, uh, into the big defensemen, uh, big guys, 6'4", 6'3", like Chariot, Weber, Kulak. 
and uh, and not too much on skating. And then you can see, everybody can skate a park for the Montreal Canadian Whiteman, or it could be Coley. Uh, only two players don't skate a lot is Savar and uh, Savar and Edmondson. Maybe Jackai, but uh, other defensemen can carry on the puck. Uh, it would be better when Madison be back with them for sure about that, uh, Tony. Around uh, uh, site, live fans uh, uh, are not this uh, absent. Uh, go, uh, go, Terry Fleury. Fleury is listed. What night here? Oh, I put Fleury there. That's a, everybody talk about this with me. <laughs> I don't know why Fleury is there. I'll uh, be honest with you. <laughs> That's what we talk. I just realized Ill is there. Jesus. <laughs> I just said, why do people talk about Fleury? <laughs> but nobody told me about the score field. Uh, it's funny. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Mike, uh, welcome back in the house. Come on, coach. Uh, yeah, because I use a, a, a old template sometime, and I did not check at all. So my bad. It's happened. I have no clue what the people is like. Why do people talk about Fleury? <laughs> uh, that's funny. A lot of ad trick sense. October, amazing Tariti. Uh, coach, you will see if we are on the toes. Yeah, possible WST. I think it's my YouTube goal yesterday. Uh, back to uh, goal today. Back is consistent to doing well, of course, uh, with Elian Freeman, giving us the work news, making initial players sound like a rapist. Uh, Austin Evans said, watching on CD TV, app free. Awesome, Mike. Uh, please respect another age for the coach is enough. Uh, uh, I coach Mr. Anata will come aboard. Uh, Beck is on fire. Jimmy Ben with a hat trick today. Yes, King is about this one over there. And that's what we got so far in NHL. <laughs> 2 2 Buffalo Tampa Bay. Toronto 2-1, 1-1 uh, uh, one, one Pittsburgh Seattle, uh, Philadelphia 2, Ottawa 1, and then Washington 1, the Arizona 0. Uh, then come on, guys, hit the likes. I bet you will be there. was a free uh, with the bleep pop. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. Be a part of the show tonight. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. We appreciate that. We're going to wait for the third period start to go back. Uh, Joshua, Rua, Stone, Cole, and Shabrook, uh, Rick, uh, yeah, I've only won a two point per game. Really, uh, not many goals recently, Rick. Uh, the guy need to uh, take uh, Jake Allen out for pizza after the game. Allen, I agree with you about this. Why the Bruins won? Miller, them, is doing so well. Uh, right, he's not going to play Terry. They signed him a contract, ELC. Maybe he's never going to play with it, Boston. He's just become a, a distraction around this situation. Thanks so much, RJ. Coach Jimenson is having a good game so far. Uh, yes, uh, so far he was responsible for the first goal, but we cannot blame off because we make a you make a mistake and only we done. Coach, it's low, uh, low way. We are getting to the norm. I see we may finish the 2028 20, overall. Yes, Zef, of course, we are good together. Nick, Nicola, the goal be but no. Welcome back at the house, Nicola. Uh, Coach, uh, do you still think uh, made a big uh, mistake when he draft Mayu? Um, If you talk about the hockey player, I don't think so, Eric. But if you talk about uh, the way they did it, I would say yes, Eric. Uh, I never act, appreciate or I never agree with uh, Mac Bergevin and Trevor Timmins, the way they did it. But as the hockey player, Mayu was a good pick at 31 uh, for me. 
uh, Aber, thank you so much. Ren, Wi-Fi, uh, two seven seven eight one block shot. Thank you so much, Ren, for the information. Because you still think Bajor make a big uh, mistake when he draft from you. But again, I just said to you, Eric, like I said, I did not like the way they did it. But to draft Mayu at 31, I think it will be uh, it's going to be a good pick at long term for uh, Eric about this. It's just I didn't like uh, only our coach uh, or his score. He has more goal for one franchise, uh, Randy. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Vegas took away uh, the uh, the out line, but the out. Uh, but guess what? It, they was all over Montreal Canadian Roger for the first 15 minutes of the game at uh, the second period. Very good, lucky. How about you? Uh, Days and Television report are hard to listen to. Coach Connor and NHNC were the best. Uh, I agree, my youth was a good pick, uh, Rick. Uh, it was a top 10 before his uh, include. Yeah, it was being a little bit lower, Rick, for sure. Like I said, the kid is a good, good hockey player. You have a lot of work to do, but my point of view is I told Montreal, he did Mark Bergeron did not do his own work. But um, you know, it's the past now. So he's been help to the dressing room after uh, stopping that slap shot was scary to see. Yeah, he come back after that king, so let's see the same. What is my email? Uh Benjamin, uh, show a lot of guts. Uh, Yeah, possibly if you see that way, Eric, yes. But if you think about what the people after that was disagree and the owners was not agree and the way he did it, I don't think so. He did really the He did not do it the right way. That's my biggest problem with Mike Bergevin on that pick over there. The kid asked a request. He asked, please do not draft me in the year and the draft. He said, I don't want to be drafted. He requested and Montreal did it. Now, if Montreal does not do it, pretty sure another team will do it. But at the end of the day, I thought they have some kind of conversation with the family and everything like that. He did not do it. He never talked to the family or the player, Mark Bergevin. That's why I'm upset about what well, I'm upset. I am disagree with the pick they said. They take him. Now, like I said, 31, that pick is pretty good. It's like Lane Hudson, 62, is pretty good for the Montreal Canadian. And... Uh, you know, but a good thing now, you have a lot of good things, positive, get out of that situation. The the new, um, the way they they talk about this, they have the, they create a program fundraising, it's called Respect, I believe. They create a lot of good things about this and may you get better with overall. So always a negative, always turn as a positive if you use the properly the right way. But we'll see the time if he's going to become a great selection for the Montreal Canadian a long term. I don't I, I do think the world and it shall a need to pass on Mayu. Uh, someone was uh, going to pick him. The fault was the NHL. Burgett gets sick a bit a bad draft picker, but he make up for at the end he make a great pick uh, the right before he left uh, Austin. Yeah, he said like, a lot of good play player around this. Uh, I agree with you about this. Uh, uh, what does Montreal have to do in order to get more chance tonight? Uh, whatever they try, offensively in the second period, was not working. Uh, the pressure of Vegas, it was uh, all over Montreal. So Montreal lose the battle of the, lose the battle. You know, like sometimes guys, uh, you're going to laugh at me right now, but I said the second period of problem Montreal got, it was the power play. They lose the momentum after that power play, and he's not going to hurt. But again, the pressure of four checker is hard on Montreal Canadian. Look what Dallas did with Montreal Canadian. Look what Minnesota did against Montreal Canadian. Pressure, pressure, pressure on the defenseman. So when you do that, Montreal have no reaction. So we have two ways to control the 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 pressure of the four checker. First, you have to recover the puck faster. You have to take a decision faster. So don't hold the puck too much. Thirdly, you have to be sure you have a, a support. Go low. So a quick pass. It's called a quick pass. And then you reset. The problem with Montreal Canadian, they create, because the pressure is so hard, they make they make Montreal Canadian make mistake after that. So a giveaway puck, a turnover puck, they just 
try to get a puck. Remember, guys, one shift, they stay in the, in the zone. They try to get the puck five times. They was, could not put the puck out. That's a problem. And to to go again, a four checking is great, great pass. The goaltending play a big role about that one over there. What are you talking about? Because Jake Allen is not a guy go out of the uh, out of the net a lot. But if he could recover the puck quicker, pass the puck to Saval, and Saval quick, pass the puck all the way back. So the player have to be quick up, right away up, to go, to, to go again the four checking. Don't get that kind of pressures coming to you fast if you can turn around that way. That would be my best answer. I gave it to you uh, about that there. Uh, Benjamin did not leave. He was fired. Uh, the mission again in Boston is where it was. Uh, Rick, yeah, I agree with you. If you think that was not one team would have draft my U between round one. Oh, no, hey, Rick, uh, no, I agree with you about that one there. I said, if Montreal don't pick him, someone would get him. Yeah. Uh, FK baseball, basketball, uh, good, I guess, good. I send the kids, send pick on himself, his girlfriend, on real, that was uh, news. Uh, uh, Nathan McKinnon, nine assists the last three games. Yep, so right, Adam, about this. Uh, Ad helping the game close with Adam. Yes, Adam have an amazing, great uh, first period, second period. It was actually offered a contract, but he refused to sign it for whatever reason. No choice after they but let him go. Uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, how are you, Mr. Would like sleep in the house? Uh, welcome back in the house, Mr. Would like to sleep. Uh, If that person was told that Gordon would be his boss, and Benjamin said, no way. Uh, next goal with tonight, the game. Uh, yeah, great, great. Then uh, Matty Moore, Matamore, Dan. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Matamore. Uh, merci beaucoup, mon Matamore. C'est baisé. That is on fire, William Snyder. That is, is going for a trick. Uh, coach, so well said, support. Uh, of the puck uh, on your own and create so many turn on one with the defensive on your cone. Yep, exactly about this. That is Boston and Saddle keep winning game. Uh, yep, so right, uh, King of Gamer. It will be interesting. Saddle is going to do tonight. Uh, but yep, so right, 74 likes. Don't forget to click on the like. Let's uh, start from Sweden, Jerry. What is going on? And the Saddle and Shane Wright trouble in the Paradise or. The story behind that is like, look like the parent ask a Seattle what going to do with him because they feel like they lose his time over there. So I just want to give you a short story. Then Shane Wright said, no, everything is fine. And then they let him play 13 minutes last game. So that's a short story, Jerry, about this one over there. Um, I read about Shane Wright, but I, I let it go. So like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know exactly what turned around about this one over there. So it'll be interesting the next story about this one over there. Uh, about this. Uh, Watching the score, just gaming. Uh, Tony Ab will uh, turn up the eight and the third. Hopefully, it'll be a return. Uh, Shane will be going to Long Kingston and they will trade uh, him to Conender for Memorial Cup. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about this one over there. Uh, Rick, uh, decision. They wait for that to get that's happening. They want to be the OHL involved with that situation, Rick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right yep. Oh, I got it, Rick. No problem. <laughs> it's happened all the time for everybody. Uh, not allow. Uh, not allow. Jerry about Shane Wright. Uh, they are very good people and everything like that. And they just want to figure out, okay, what's next with him? What do you want to do with him? That's it. How is Logan going so far? Kim Gamer is on the NC right now. Uh, Coley, um, Kim Gamer. Coach, what are your thoughts on this uh, game being played abroad? Something like that. I'm agree with that one over there. And I'll tap the problem with that is when they come back, it's very hard on the players and for the team. That's the only problem. You're welcome, Jerry. Um, that's very hard for them. So that's the biggest biggest problem. Uh, but for the player, they love it because, you know, like Rantanen and those, Likanen and those kind of players been born over there. That's open or the horizon behind that. And I think promotion, everything like that, I think is good. Uh, but sometimes the team struggle look like Nashville. 
Anyhow, the third player started, guys. Uh, we're going to go back. Uh, and now the Vegas coming back. And the is on control by Fire Park. Uh, black shot uh, by the defenseman. The puck go out of the play. We're going to reset uh, on the left or right side of Jake Adam. Uh, we're going to go back uh, with the third period, 1945. He's called it one good and, and say, not a bad um, about this. Samson have hurt coach. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I know they do a back to back game. Um, Oh, really? So he got hurt tonight. Washington 0, 15 to go. RG, thank you. Go back right now, Bandinette of the Stone. Max Stone try to get a puck around that battle right now with uh, um, Coley. Coley was his key right now with Jack Eggall. Great play by the Montreal Canadian holding the puck. Uh, go back right now, Vegas. At the blue line, uh, set up right now. Don't pay probably on the net of uh, Jake Allen. The pressure for Allen, uh, the, the, they are big, right? You can see the guys of Buffalo are big at uh, the Buffalo, of uh, the Vegas, and they're holding the puck all the back, all the back, control the puck right now. Make that back to show the puck. Martinez, save the puck to Allen, recovery. Matra attacking right now. Matra at three versus one. Coming to the right side. Zuski looking right. On the back side, Zuski is going to put. Hit him! Matra score! It's two to two. Nick Suzuki could be that. And Cole Caulfield, bing, bang, boom. We did it again. One month like Canadian tie the game for the second time tonight. The great play by Nick Zuzuki. Could be that a transition right away there. What a play by Montreal Canadian. I think it was Aubrey recovery puck, by the way. It was that, by the way. So great play for Montreal Canadian tie the game 2 2. Try to get this one over there. Wow, Montreal Canadian tied the game 2-2. Next is key score after Carfield tonight. Uh, the, the young rookie is the duo. We talk about him today on my app, Daily News. Uh, and the Montreal Canadian tied the game 2-2. What a performance of both young kids for the Montreal Canadian. What would be without them, honestly? They, I think they scored half of the other game, uh, the goal. Now, uh, Vegas should the puck uh, missed the net. Uh, they go back on the other side. 18-28, 32 to go remaining. I'm going to set up the clock. Don't worry about this. Uh. Well, to get right there, where there, Mozeski score. Now you like, we get one of the, look, we get all cake. Uh, there we go, Michael, love that line. Uh, Absolute rest with that one over there. What a shot about uh, Mr. Nick Zuski. Tied the game. Now Vegas coming back now. Control the puck on the right side. Holding one up at Hag. Pass the puck to the left side. Bring the puck to the other side. Recovery part of Vegas. Deep zone behind Adam. Rift set by Whiteman, I believe. Dub the point neutral zone. The puck goes slightly back in front of the bench. Back on defense is on going to be uh, no icing. Uh, Nicola Haig bring the puck. They, they reverse by Vegas. Go tonight. Pass the puck to the other side. Back to Hag. Pinch went up by Money and battle for the puck. Down the net. They're set by White Cloud. White Cloud hold the puck right now at the goal line. White Cloud with Schwann and Josh Anderson. Set up now. Deep deep. Back to Vector Vegas. Don't play the puck. Neutral zone. Pass to the high sink from the Montreal Canadian. Highland intercept the puck. Try the puck to Arbor. We're going to reset all the way back behind the net of Arbor. Less of 18 minutes to go remaining on the third period. Montreal just tied the game 2 2. Goal of Next is key. But it's seven of the year. The Pogo by the net. Hill intercepted the puck. Pass the puck to White. Uh, Prudentialo. Pressure by Montreal Canadian. And finally, back outside zone by Rua. Four line for the Vegas on the night. Intercepted by Edmondson. Dumping the puck. Set by Prudentialo. Looking back. Long stretch pass right now. Behind Haaland. Battle right now. Uh, behind the goal line of uh, Jake Allen. Chasing by Colsau. Rec recovery by Montreal. How the point is on to Jake Evans. Uh, Love the point of the side. Chase it up. Armia and Sakoski. Bring the point the goal line. Sakoski hold the puck. Finally, turn over. Point of the goal the night. They have come in now. Two versus two. On the right side of Haaland. Chase it up by Jordan Harris. Uh, hold the puck by Haaland. And point of the goal. The puck go back on the left side of Haaland. Finally, put the glove over the puck. To another whistle. Going to reset on the left side of Jake Allen. That's uh, That's all. Happening on that one over there. Montreal 
Well, tie the game, guys. Again, the Boston, Boston go Boston to score the lead. And Chuck said 2 2, Bank win, and the Saddle Kraken. Wow. The Kraken consistently performing over there. Sad news that look like from, uh, from Kelly said Samson up is out uh, for uh, an injury at the knee. First half now on the right side, Jake Allen 17 with 7 to go remaining on the third period. Uh, Jake Evan phase two. Um, I don't know, it was Sattler. Uh, uh, again, the rest again, too weak. Uh, coach, uh, do you know this? Because this year, this key has been taking the puck to net much more often. Uh, yes, he should have parked more often uh, in our tap. Uh, go back behind the net to set up by Stephenson. Should have parked in the back door. And just right now, should have parked by the Vegas go tonight. Emerson tried to go back outside zone. High the park uh, on defensive zone. And go back to uh, Hill. Uh, pass the park behind the goaltending. And then we set by Ben Angelo. Coming up, pass the park to the side. Vegas coming at full speed on the right side. Allen pass up by the back door. And just right now, by the Montreal Canadian, the park go hit uh, Hoffman. Back and back, all the way back to Stone. Fire puck again. Pass the puck to the left side. Recovery now by Stone. Pass the puck to the left side in front of the net. Uh, recovery by the back door. Should the puck out of the save. No rebound. We have a puck in the face of Armia. And Armia is going back on the bench. Uh, power play for the power play by the Tampa Bay. Uh, by the Vegas Golden Knight, by the way. Second power play of the night uh, for them. A uh, great point about this uh, in our tap. Uh, uh, so yeah, you know, that uh, Kalit Matthews like uh, our job date and the baseball. Please, uh, Francois Kit was a great gift uh, by Vegas Saints uh, won the glass. Uh, yeah, sorry about this. Uh, Wally Kitnick for those uh, in the last two games. Wally Kitnick is on fire. Johnny Golden, uh, Golden, go back over there. Recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Get out of the zone. Zuski loved the part of the side. Used to try to get a puck for himself in front of Haeckel. Great um, handling by Jack Eckel. Turn around. This is still a puck all there. All the puck in front of Stevenson. Ran the puck around the board. But all the way back up by Eckel. This is key finally. They go back at the goal line. One minute to go remaining. I'll pull play for the Vickers goal tonight. Uh, don't pay the puck all the way back. And control by the back door to Eckel. Now pass the puck to the side. Should the point from the net there. How to make a save. Puck will behind the net. The chase it by the Vickers goal tonight. Hold the puck all the way back at the goal line. Keep controlling the puck at the blue line. Now back again, Peter Angelo pass the puck to the left side. Fire puck uh, in front of the battle. Uh, Adam make a save. Recovery to the left side. Should have in the back door. Great play by Montreal Canadian. And then send still the uh, everything. Turn around. Go back at the blind. Set up by uh, Eichel. Should have in front of the net. Uh, rebound by Allen. Save it by Stevenson. And then uh, it's a little back. Uh, it could look him good. Then Allen is silent right now. Fire puck again uh, over the head. Allen, the puck go out of the play. We're going to reset that. Uh, but Jake Allen. Unbelievable performance tonight for the Montreal Canadiens. Since the beginning of the season, guys, the Montreal Canadiens, we cannot complain about the, the goaltender because they offer an amazing, great job. And uh, what a save I got again by Jake Evan tonight. Uh, go, let's go. Eric Tetro in the house. This is Carfield, the demo. The, dima, the dynamic deal, Bob. I agree with you about that. Uh, Johnny, wow. Yep. Uh, face up now on the left side, Jake Allen. Uh, more like, we need more likes, everybody. Thanks. Uh, number two, try to get a part of the zone. It's just now at the blue line. Uh, now holding the pipe by Hag. Uh, bring the part to the left side. Now go back to uh, Kessler. Kessler coming out. Fire park. Uh, Adam makes a rebound, EVB. Power play goal. Uh, Riley Smith scored the second goal of the night. Pass by Kessler. And that way, the Vegas Golden Knight take a lead again at 3 2 over the Montreal Canadian. And two power, uh, one power play goal, making strong a special team on 12 for the fifth game straight. Uh, gave a goal uh, on the power play when it was really strong since the beginning of the season. This is the fifth goal, a uh, fifth game they gave a power play, and that's what happening about this. Uh, could not do anything, Jake Evan on the uh, on the rebound, and that's happening. And the Vegas going tonight for the third time take the lead tonight at three to two. That's what happening. 32 shot for sister, 24, I believe. Go back now, Pervigas Gorius attacking right now again. I didn't make a save. Finally, a whistle. We're going to have nothing else right there. As well, always on PK, Francois Petre. Uh, many penalty. Sami is out with a knee. Sorry for the leave. I would like to sleep. Said that. Samson off. Out. <laughs> Face off winning by Vegas. 
show the pack uh, and make another save. Wow, Allen 33 shots so far. So far, we cannot complain about Jake Allen tonight, uh, for sure. After two that, that's coming now. Hold the puck at the red line. Don't pay a puck to the side. A bit too far for Caulfield. Get out the zone by Vegas. Vegas now in the zone. Hold the power there. Don't pay the power now. Great hit by the Mont uh, by Harbor. Puck behind the net. Recovery for Montreal. Can he go to uh, uh, regroup? A uh, long stretch pass for Caulfield to Caulfield. Caulfield can uh, get, catch the puck. Will be a nice scene. We're going to reset on defensive zone. And we're going to go back on, on the Montreal Canadian territory with a nice scene. Uh, uh, Montreal Bonnet has been uh, on power since the start of the season. Francois, yeah, I agree with you guys. Uh, I cannot be more agree uh, that one over there. Now Vegas going to regroup on defensive zone. White pass to Ag. Ag in the zone. Pass the puck to their side. Hold in. Intercept by Ag. A white cloud. Don't pay a pipe down. Jake Allen. Put some pressure behind the goaltending. Reset right now by Whiteman. Whiteman battle for the puck. And uh, Montreal try to get a puck outside the zone by Zuski, I believe. Battle for Phil Cassel. Lose the puck. Recovery by the regroup by the Vegas. Uh, they bet 14 minutes over to go. They pull back on defensive zone. Battle in front of the net. Uh, recovery by Jake Allen. Uh, recovered by the Montreal Canadiens. Top the puck, Nitrozant. Hold the puck right now. Nitrozant by Alvin, I believe. Alvin don't put puck for himself for the Prenin Jalou. The puck go back to Hill. Try the puck to Prenin Jalou. Ballot right now by Hoffman. And just right now by uh, Devrag. Pass the puck to Gallagher. Gallagher hold the puck. Gallagher hold the, keep the puck. Turn around. Gallagher in front of the net. They're saved by Hill. Uh, go back on the left side. We didn't see Josh Anderson. Uh, go back around it. They go back outside the zone. Pile Vegas coming back along is uh, Carson. Wait for teammate. Uh, turn around the puck in the corner. She's in by Hoffman. Finally, Vegas going to the blue line. Fire puck behind Jello. I didn't make a save. We believe the puck go back in the corner. Reset by the Montreal Canadian. Hoffman could control the puck with Sarkovsky. Jake Evans pass the puck to the side. Montreal now behind the net. Pass the puck. Didi Savard hold the puck all the way back. Back to Kaden Coley, I believe. Kaden Coley use the board. Pass the puck to the neutral zone. Controlled by the Montreal Canadian. Love the puck and give the puck to Vegas. Vegas going to regroup. Reset with a bit over 30 minutes. Back to Didi. Back to Bernard Jello. He's coming to the red line. Don't pay puck behind Ireland. On the opposite corner, pass the park behind and the goal be added. Intercept the park, drive the park behind. We're going to go all the way back on defensive zone. Uh, Byron at uh, for Iris uh, Kerrigan 3 2 coach Randy. Wow, uh, it been bad. So as Primo Rick, uh, like we said, uh, the kid are responding well. I'm confident that in the three years we will have uh, will be a menace. Uh, Francois, I agree with you. I think that you have to give credit uh, for them. Uh, Get Mercury, Eric. Uh, thanks so much, for everybody, to be a part of the show. Don't forget, guys, click on that. Uh, face off now, money in. Lose the puck. Recovery by Penelope. Pass the puck to Love the puck by Martinez. Love the puck in defense. He's on. At Redmond, so we're going to recover in for the Allen. Pass the puck to Harris. Harris control the puck now at the blue line. Keep control the puck at the red line. Don't be puck by Montreal Canadian. At the in front of the hill. Reset now by. Um, the one, the one battle for the puck, winning this and back to uh, Manan. Pass the puck left side, Iris to Edmondson. Shoot the puck, uh, he'll make a save. Rebound in the left corner, battle for uh, Manan. Pass the puck to the one, the one cannot do anything. Uh, battle for the puck, finally, uh, Vegas going to try to get the puck outside the zone. Intercept by Edmondson. Edmondson hold the puck, pass the puck. Intercept it out. Break away from Vegas again. He's coming. Wilder Carlson is coming in the back zone. Shoot the puck. And Jake Allen make a big save with a glove. What a play by Jake Allen again. Let's say with the glove this way with his left hands. I'll break away by William Carlson and intercept puck. He was shot for Stephenson. What a play on the back end again. Wow. Another bad play by Jordan Manson. His second bad mistake tonight. Uh, very difficult night for Jordan Manson uh, for the Montreal Canadian. But Jake Allen keep the team in the game uh, tonight with an amazing great save. Wow. This is the save of the night. Uh, Uh, Francois, yes, possible. We have really difficult time, Francois, right now at Laval. He struggled a lot. Um, and 
I don't think so. We're going to see him very soon. But hopefully the best for him. Ross Big Jake. Uh, it again. Yes, uh, Ross about this one over there. Buffalo to score three to two again. Tampa Bay. Uh, about this one over there. And that's what we got uh, so far. Yeah, Roger, that nine point for sure. I was just score two two. Wow, the young the the team at the bottom keep hanging there. Eighty five likes, so we looking for fifteen more likes. Uh, can we gain in there? With Twelve minutes to go. Don't forget, guys. After again the post game, we'll be there for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, Absolutely right, Francois, about this uh, winning right now by the Montreal Canadiens on the face off. Get the puck on the side. Great play by the Vegas Go tonight. Intercept by Jack Cole. Jake Kevin went out. Don't pay a puck behind the net of the Joel Armiot. Battle for the puck. Reset by McNab. Uh, by McNab. Bring the puck right now by Theodore. Intercept by Montreal Canadiens. Lob the puck to opposite corner. McNab going to recover the puck. Try to get the puck inside the zone. Intercept in front of the bench. The puck go all the the play. Go to reset. Uh, third player, a little bit slower. One back management has been very bad. Francois uh, keep having an SOS on pedal call Randy. Uh, Leonor, Leon, well, Leonardo Ramirez, uh, welcome aboard. So far with the start, do you think Vegas is back to being? Uh, yes, uh, absolutely, right, uh, Leonardo. Uh, they are big, they are strong, they play on a really good structure. Uh, game. Their plan is really well. They are really for checker. They are, like I said, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, Vegas score. Cold South score. Would be interesting to see the call. Jake Adam automatically uh, point uh, the referee. And we're going to see the call of that one over there. Review call, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no defenseman under six foot. Uh, Do we have the call or not? Wow. That way, the Vegas go to the next score, four to two. Vegas take the lead. Good goal in our top set. No review goal. 35, 37, 25. Uh, this is a, the goal is going to cut the leg for the Montreal Canadian tonight. Uh, unfortunately, I think it was hard on him to see on the left. A jack up a barrel down. Go back behind. And the boo! The Vegas goal tonight. Back to back goal. Uh, Wow. Roy continues to play good. Jack Iron on that play. Bad with white men. Turn around. At three versus two. And that's it. That's all. Wow. I don't have no time to get all the update. <laughs> Vegas 5-2. Wow. This is a, a cold shower for the Montreal Canadiens at the Bell Center. And then it's a save. Uh, and they are no one. A turnover at the Blue Line by Whiteman and Jack Eye. But at the end of the day, uh, Montreal, you know, 
Now, Hoffman leave the building, go back to the girls to the park, a black shot by uh, the girls, so go back behind the net, the uh, ball went up, uh, Montreux Canadian, 11 minutes to go remaining, for the back, got the guy on the back end, no, no rebound, we're going to reset uh, on the left side of the L. Allen shows up, Allen looked like, um, Hoffman looked like he's painful. Uh, I missed a couple of things now, Francois. I wish the app would take uh, Whiteman out of the lineup. Uh, I'll look like uh, Corey Schneider and that last one. <laughs> Kraken win tonight. Uh, Cracker is on the ice yet. Uh, uh, with 11 minutes uh, left, he show up. Uh, Hoffman injury. I'm not sure right now. He was uh, still on the locker. He's still on the bench, but we'll see. Uh, I went back tonight, seven shots uh, to go, one fight, a seven percent face up, pretty good night for him. Wow, Johnny, he's looking good over there too. Live out working harder, I never see. That's awesome to hear that. Uh, now back in the blue line, now uh, should the puck, uh, the right recovery puck, uh, you know, the safe uh, ill, uh, don't pay the puck, but Vegas going tonight, going back in the twist zone. Don't know if it's going to add an all uh, football roster. Go back to the left side, recovery now by uh, the Vegas go tonight. It will be set to under the side uh, by the Iris set. Don't be the part behind the net. The recovery on the left. And then uh, Montreal at 28 shots. Going to set up the breakout. Just uh, Joel Emerson hold the puck all the back. Uh, pass the puck to the left side. Back to Iris. Iris coming back on the left side of Hill. Uh, recovery went out by Montreal. Can end Josh Anderson for the prevention. Great play by the, and the Angelo. We just hit the halfway of the third period. And get right there, right there. We have a hill right there. We have a battle all the way back. Everybody's jumping on this one over there. Anderson all the way back. Anderson go on the locker room. Oh. Three guys jump on John Anderson. Jump triple after his hit, uh, Franco. Yep. Uh, bad hit for Enough Tap said. He's go straight to the locker room. So we got the. Uh, we got three, I saw the Anderson. We got three players hurt right now. We have uh, two players, Hoffman and Anderson, go to the locker room. I'm excited, but not for Mexico, Leonardo Ramirez. Hit uh, Pervangelo in the back. Uh, we'll be interested to see the call of the referee about that one over there. Look, I have a shoulder or a shoulder problem, or maybe the arm of the Anderson. Uh, when he got down on the ice. Wow. The late is left move by Anderson for Zev Lacal. Zev Lacal, hello in our top, Alan Barnes, welcome back. We're going to turn off the lights, guys. Hold on. Uh, and then Montembeau, the third 13. Uh. Here we go. Uh, we have less than a minute to go remaining. Uh, big hit out should put Monday uh, now, uh, Delia. What a shot, my God, you see that, uh, King of Gamer. Now we wait for the call. I have all the round and at the beat down, uh, WST. Tempest score, 3-3. 
Boring. And it's out for boarding, Franco said. Leave out an end, Rick said. To play Vegas and Pinnet Box, Delia said. Look like Sucker Skip was injured. Did he come back on the ice call? Yes, he came back after that. And the third cross the line of his checker is kind of play going nowhere, Alexander Mayer said. This game is not on Jake, uh, Randy. Coach, how do you feel about the Bruins thing and Mitchell, uh, Mitchell Miller? Uh, for me, I disagree with that one over there, Eric. Uh, I think they should not do it. They don't need him. And I don't think so it was appropriate about that one over there. 38, 28, 30, 28. Yeah. Uh, referee called his body, but hope and he shall look at it and realize Pizangelo move before he hit hope and the sun does not get a ton of game. We have to wait right now. A uh, uh, long delay right now for this uh, situation. Go back right now. 4 3. Montreal Canadian 4 and 3. We have Caulfield on the ice. We have uh, Dak on the ice. Back on the other side. This is the puck. Uh, black shot right there. And the but next is key score. Second goal of the night. Uh, the but Montreal Canadian uh, score. Five to three. Power play goal, Montreal Canadian. Five to three, Montreal Canadian. Uh, great play by Nick Ski again. That kind of assist, I believe. The young man consistent performance, guys. Uh, and that's what we got so far. Five to three, Montreal Canadian. Good. Uh, I agree. Rick M. Ren B. Uh, what he was a lot, Oscar Mayu. Yeah, he was uh, for sure. Drop the puck right there. I'm going to drop the puck. Now Vegas coming back in the third zone. Don't pay puck man plants again. Canadian are going to reset uh, behind the goaltending. Allen, uh, we go back on the other side. Okay, Montreal coming back at uh, four versus uh, four. Now Coffee control the puck. Coffee able to control the puck. Turn around. Bring the puck on the board. Intercept now by Vegas. Go tonight and for the cool day. Intercept by Mon uh, Montreal. Go back at the goal line. Hold it at the blue line. Holding the puck with it. But pass the puck to the side. Control the puck. Hold it back. Turn around. Pass the puck to uh, left side. Montreal try handling the puck barely. Go back to the side. Cough finally. The puck will be out. Uh, matches with some big save. Uh, leave one, two to one. Kelly Calgary with a big save. Uh, matches with both goal. Seven points. The last coin for Dak. Uh, Zeph Lacave. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry about this. Zach is doing well. Dak is going very well for the Montreal Canadian. Go back now. We guess one more time. They're going to control the puck. Should the puck be on the net? The re a reset for the Montreal Canadian. Contre le power back, pass the puck to the side. Montreal at the neutral zone, keep contre le puck. Great play by Montreal. Hold the puck right now at the back door. Set up at the one. Fire puck. Miss the net belly. Recovery by Dak. Try to get a puck around. Dak paddle with Jonathan Drouin and with William Carlson. Back on the stuck on the board. And just seven out. We have a push in by McLeod. McLeod and uh, uh, Dak. Uh, Palo, the puck with the other side. The hag try to get a puck. Great play by Jonathan Dwight. Finally, Carlson, Carlson recovery puck. Carlson's coming now in front of Jordan Nelson. Carlson coming in the back end of Jake Allen. Shoot a puck. Make save by Jake Allen. Reset by the Vegas Golden Knight. Uh, behind the net by Carlson. Bring the puck to the blue line. And now go back. Perry Montreal can end. Emerson recovery puck. Going to hold the puck. We're going to go back now. Uh, power play now for the Vegas Golden Knight for two minutes, five, uh, three, less of three minutes. Uh, power play for the Knights. Uh, Power
power play goal for Montreal Canadiens and power play third time for the Vegas. Uh, Vegas coming now on the left side of Jake Evans. Uh, uh, Jake Allen, recovery by Pedangelo. Pass the puck to the left side. Hold the puck, hold it back. Uh, pass the goal line. Uh, it's just thrown out by the Vegas. Uh, Jack Hackle. Hold the puck all the way back. Uh, hold the puck all the way back to Pedangelo. Pedangelo looking back now. It's coming down the left side. Fire puck. Uh, and Jake Allen make a save. No rebound. We're going to reset on the left side. Jake Allen. This is count 39 shot for the Vegas. Good night. Almost a 40 tonight. Uh, Hardy but uh, pen one I was going there. Uh, about this one over there. And I tap good. Uh he delayed and Matthew Chuck. Uh. Come on. Vegas score. Go back on the back. I didn't get out now. Did it? Go back being a net uh, set now by the Vegas Good Night. Recovery the ash mark. Uh, contra Pike Patrick Pass the puck to the left side. Heckle contre pack the red line. Heap contre pack the blue line. Hold the puck, hold the back. Heckle pass the puck to the side to uh, Marcheso. Hold the puck, hold the back. Bring the puck to the blue line. Set up now by Provenzolo. Pass the puck to the left side. Jack Heckle looking for the back door. A fire puck. A one timer shot for the Vegas goal tonight. And a goal for Marcheso. And this is the sixth goal for the Montreal Canadiens they gave tonight. This is the first time this year Montreal gave up a lot of gold. And this is all about the biggest goal tonight tonight uh, over the Montreal Canadian. And uh, obviously that will maybe, you know, dark night. Then that will dark the side of Jack Allen performance tonight. Because honestly, the second period he was solid, but he cannot do nothing about this. What a pass by Jack Eichel to Marcia So a one timer shot uh, that the live went ran B tonight. Uh, I'm ready to support it. Allen, uh, Dillian said. Uh, the puck went out, uh, go set up. Uh, we're try going to continue to attack him now. Uh, add skate with Tim for two periods. William, you have to write about this. Uh, and, uh, you know, I would say to you, the second period was all about the guess, but I can understand your point of view. Uh, Buffalo three and the Lightning four. Wow. Now they are coming back. Montreal get out of the zone. Best set up. Uh, still power play for the Vegas Golden Knight uh, for 135. We know Anderson out of the game for boarding five minutes. Uh, now they go back to the Canadian battle in the neutral zone. And still the pipe by the unit number two of the Vegas go tonight. Back up now by Vegas. On control the puck now on the offensive zone. Don't pay part behind Jake Allen. The puck go out of the play. Go to reset. Good, go night, sir, Bobby said. First one, not, not the best game for Allen, but uh, if we have to consider the yeah, Vegas out and higher the ball. Yeah, she's the retour. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Felix. Uh, about this. Uh. Here we go. First up on the right side, uh, Jake Allen. Uh, winning by, uh, by Vegas. Hold the puck in the blue line. Hold, keep the puck in front of Jake Allen. Fire puck. Uh, and then make a save. Recovery by Edmondson. Battle for the back of the goal line. Now in front of uh, uh, Sound. Sound still the puck. We're in the puck in the back door. Don't pay puck. Panama 3 Canadian. Going to reset on that side. Uh, should have gave Primo some time in Montreal. No, Ryan. Leave Primo uh, down in Laval. Does not do well anyway. And he need to stay in Laval for a full year. Never come back in Montreal before next season for his development. Did Echo score? No, he did not. Uh, what does the 10-back look like? Uh, now the puck go back to the left side. Recovery by the Bay. Uh, by Vegas. Love the puck outside the zone. Going to recovery. On the left side, by the temper, uh, by the Vegas going to regroup uh, on defensive zone. Uh, pass the puck now to Stone. Stone pass the puck to Prudentiello. Back to Stone. Stone to pass to Prudentiello. Rain the puck behind at uh, Jack Eichel at the blue line. Hold the puck, hold the back. Uh, could control the puck in the zone uh, at the red line. Hold the puck. Uh, he going to rec recovery. Reset that. Uh, five seconds to go remaining on the power play for Vegas. Uh, Hackle dumping puck behind the net of Jake Allen. Recovery by Phil Castell. Bring it by the corner. Set by Rouet, I believe, in front of Max uh, David Saval. Now the puck backside. Montreal get out of the zone. They are coming now. Cooley. Hold the puck the red line. Cooley to an offensive. Look on the right and the side. That's the puck. Fire puck. Can it be? What a shot. Uri Savkowski score. Uri Savkowski score. What a shot. One time up. But what a pass by Kaden Cooley. Uh, 
about this. Fire Martin get a coach about Bantam level uh, WST. Uh, what a shot about this one over there. Sakoski. Wow. That Yorai Sakoski. 6'3, 6'4. We love action in Montreal this year. That's what we got there. The young men of the Montreal Canadiens step up tonight. They can always spend well. I agree with you, Francois, uh, about this. They won on sending effort. Uh, and they go back now behind the net of the Jake Allen. Uh, first one to get at Chris Whiteman, who goes to recovery. 41 shot versus 30 for the Montreal Canadiens. But tonight, guys, Caulfield, Zuzuki, Zuzuki, Caulfield. You are. Well. Come down, final. Uh, they would do the same reaction, Eric, like they did at Boston, the players and the organization. I don't think so. Uh, they will do that anyway, Montreal. But um, they will be the very upset, like the Boston Bruins fans and the uh, and the uh, players very upset about this. Uh, I've, I've said times I'm very happy the result. And important this year, Francois. Uh, comment do you think the fans will? I just get it. Uh, I've signed Michel uh, Kelly mentioned up. Uh, if Shane Wright uh, will play for the Ab, it will be 10-0. Uh, then he said, what a game, a Parliament Parliament game. Um, oh, what a go. Uh, I, uh, O.O. Shwatyuk, uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for being a part of the show. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like, that'll be a score, and just keep them late. And the last uh, live is good for the Abs. Austin Allen said, yeah, huge W for the leave. Randy, that's right about this one over there. Can they do it again, again, Carolina, tomorrow? That's the biggest question after that, uh, Mr. Rindy. Have a good night, David. Thanks so much to stop by tonight. Don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. Uh. Yo, tired to see a drawing on, on the IOD and the surrounds commercial and not stepping up the ice, basically. I see, I see, go, abs, go, Bob, about this. Uh, you're from Quebec, oui, dans la région de la Mauricie, mon homme. In the belle province, we have scored four goals versus uh, Vegas Francois. When they declare that puck when, when they need to, uh, very impressive. The kid are showing up the old. There we go. Uh, go, Abs, go, Steve G. Welcome back in the house. And the Arizona Coyotes beat the Washington Capitals. Look like 3 to 2. Unbelievable. Go, Ottawa, Rick. You do, Danny. And I'll tell you, go about this one over there. Uh, the one had net shot, but tried to for the shot. So I missed the neck on the It was no good. Uh, Tampa Bay won. The Leaf win tonight. Good for a classic division. And Montreal go. Arizona beat Washington. Great is when they can go in there. Uh, score for being the six last and last. Nothing good about that, uh, Chuck. Uh, about this, uh, come on, people. We need only 10 more turns up. Uh, don't forget to click on the ice. Uh, I'm not sure without some sort of coach. Uh, yeah, I agree with you about this one over there. I prefer to see the kid being compensated and the veteran and the contrary. I agree with you about this, uh, Francois. I didn't play a puck around the board at 337 to go remaining. Uh, go back on the left side. Should the Quebec Nordic return? Uh, unfortunately, they won't. Um, but, uh, you know, for the hockey, it would be great in Montreal, but I don't think so. They will happen. Go back to the side. Montreal attacking right now on this point. Put the goalie. Go back right now to the other side. Back to Armia. Back to Jake Evan. Then pushing right now by Hag. Hag and uh, uh, to Jake Evan. The puck go back to the side. Come to the now in the third zone. Don't pay the puck. And recovery by Montreal. Can you Jordan Iris? Uh, Set up the puck on the back in front of Jake Allen. Drive the puck behind the reverse. Back to Edmondson. Edmondson hold the puck on the back. Uh, pass the puck on the blue line. Back to Harris. Harris to the goal line. Don't pay the puck. Enter seven up. I guess uh, could be that battle for the puck. It's running by Harris. Uh, and recovery by Deodore. Pass the puck to that Max Stone. Stone pass the puck into the zone. Control the puck by Jack Huckle in front of the. 
Uh, not sure which one it was. Anyway, the puck goes back in the corner, reset by the Montreal Canadian on the left side. Battle for Jordan Harris, bring the puck behind the goaltending. And they get putting some pressure. Montreal to get a zone at 2.35 to go. Can the time to put the remote the goaltending? We'll see. Suzuki hold the puck. Hold the puck right there. Bring the puck around the board. Intercept by the goal go of Carfield on the puck on the left side. Go back on the uh, recovery for the Montreal Canadian. Carfield pass it to Kirby Dak. Dak hold the puck. Back to Carfield. Carfield the goal line. Carfield now keep controlling. Carfield back to Dak. Dak hold the puck right away. Back in the middle. Shoot the puck. Yeah. Say by L, the puck will turn around by Vegas. Vegas hold the puck, allow the puck to the left side. It's a set by the Montreal Canadian. They go back on the offensive zone by the Montreal. It's set by Vegas. Uh, Vegas allow the puck in the zone. Don't pay puck uh, all the way behind Jake Allen. Allen is still in the net, by the way. Uh, go back on the other on side. Reset that. Uh, and it will be a nice scene. Uh, Molly are looking great, uh, by the way. Rick. Uh, uh, I wish Quebec uh, could, would get a uh, team back. Such a great uh, market, William. Too bad it's too small for the initial at this point. Uh, yep, I send my power. Just went out uh, twice in a row. It's so windy. That's not that friend. The three hour. Sorry to hear that. Uh, and okay, just right there, right there. Thanks so much. Uh, Omar J. Uh, White Hoffman on ice. Uh, we're coming now by uh, Montreal Battle Fight. Uh, uh, Shut the puck. Uh, Almost uh, hit by uh, Hoffman, I believe. It brings part of the hand. They set now by Montreal Canadian at the goal line by Hoffman. Hoffman, uh, battle for the puck, bring it part to the side. If it gets left, the puck in the twas line. They set by Montreal Canadian. They go back on the left side. Don't pay one up. I got to go. Chase him now. We got to go. Battle for the puck. They guess use the board. Pass the puck. All the back battle. All the back uh, with Hoffman. Hoffman top the point corner. They guess recovery puck. Uh, Keep contre the puck on the left side. It's a uh, match. So pass the puck to Carson. Should the puck intercept by Montreal Canadian. Hoffman. Pass the puck all the back uh, to Hoffman at the neutral zone and in front of the bench. Uh, don't be a puck to the side. Back to uh, McNabb. Use the board. Intercept by uh, Dwayne. Dwayne hold the puck all the back. Bring the puck to the blue line. Montreal set up now. Looking the puck to Iris. Back to Dwayne. At the ash mark. Back to Iris. Iris hold the puck. Pass the puck to the right side. Shoot the puck on the left side. Call 20 pound Montreal. In front of that. Black shot. Back again. Holding the puck on Montreal at the goal line. Now coming to Ash Mark. Uh, Montreal hold the puck there. Back at the goal line. Back to Ash Mark. Back to goal at the Iris. Iris at the blind. Hold the puck on the left side. Coming now on the goal line. Panama Twine in front of net. No chance by Alvin. I believe finally Vegas, uh, Vegas going the puck outside zone. Recovery by Jordan. Iris going to the set. Less of one minute to go remaining on the third period. That's what we got so far between Montreal and the Vegas Golden Knight. Set up now by Alvin. Uh, Iris, I believe. That's the puck. The side to Sakoski. Hold the puck. Sakoski looking for the net. Hail Mekesen. Recovery by Zuski. That's the fire puck. Black shot. Recovery by Montreal. That's the puck. Go to shoot puck. Zuski missed in the belly. The puck outside the zone. They're going to recover in defense zone. Great opportunity for Sarkovsky, Zuzuki, but no chance. Uh, uh, it was strong on that one. Back again to Montreal. Don't pay back to the side. Chasing went out by uh, Mont uh, Vegas. Uh, don't pay back to the left. Uh, Vegas uh, try to get a puck, clean the puck, but recovery by uh, uh, Zuzuki, uh, Caulfield. Get a puck outside the zone. Finally, Vegas going to land the puck outside the zone. It's going to be the end. <laughs> Here we go. Final score tonight, guys. Uh, Montreal Canadian four. The Vegas Golden Knight six. A great performance overall by the the Vegas Golden Knight. I love the 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 effort of Montreal Canadian tonight. Come back in the game, uh, whatever they was losing by three gold. Uh, I but you know it's happening. You play with one of the best uh, goalie. Yeah, four gold during that period, guys. Just keep seven of the year. Dak a goalie. Smith, Kozar, Roy. Uh, they are other scorer. That's what we got so far. And uh, 91 likes so far. That'll be all right. Uh, uh, Alpman, Gallagher, Allen, Garbage. Uh, um, what's the last two, two Canadian? Um, they said uh, Bruins last uh, Michel. Well, nice. Uh, uh, Conquisition for the uh, South Kiss. play well today. Maisel said. Uh, Bobby, uh, where'd it go? That's what we got so far at the end of the night. Uh, Ottawa lost two one again. The Flowers guys, wow! This is shocking again. Bruins last two Canadian team. Michel Fussi said, uh, "Criminal Donald, uh, all right." Um, uh, can you remove guys, the moderator or one first? Uh, please don't block him. Just put him in a timeout. Call who you back. I'll go in tomorrow. Um, 
Hold on. Uh, Coach, will you be back up, Gargan? I don't know. Maybe uh, an emergency loan code. Maybe a uh, Marlins goaltender over there for one game. Last but great work at the end. By now, we gave up. John, I agree with you. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no abs fan. Franco Coach, I ring the pilot. I don't think uh, the ad fans should face their seat belt, expecting more jubilance or drop for 20 plus two. I love that uh, young talent are fun to watch. Ren B, I agree with you. Uh, Petruzzelli, a cake, a third round pick, like uh, coming up. Uh, have the Gregan won six straight tonight. Uh, yep, they won tonight. Uh, but you cannot complain. A lot of gold and get action. Roger, I agree with you. Mr. Stephen member back in the house. This Fox booking at Adam Fleming of the Yankees fan. Been a ranger to uh, appreciate a lot of that. Well, Russ, I'll be honest with you, uh, you have an amazing, great second period. I think on the third period, he gave at least one goal. Where you, you know what I mean? Like, you gave six goals, so you cannot blame anyway only Jake Allen on the process. Thanks so much, Russ, by the way. Have an amazing, great night. It's just a team, effort, you know, they got dominated from the big, almost the second period to the end. Uh, so it's not only on the Jake Allen. I'm sure Allen would like to make a couple more saves, but... Uh, Cannot complain. I think overall he did a very good job. Uh, keep the team in the in the game at least. So in the second period, Almond got the boot bird tonight. Uh, uh, at least I had a try hard and almost came back. And Michel uh, they should swap four in the third line. Nigel, uh, 42, Montreal, uh, 31, 14, 9. Thanks so much, RJ. And we had uh, 14. And we have uh, 9. Get that one over there. Go back here. Go back here. Uh, uh, have a good night, Jerry. Thanks so much. Uh, and him. Uh, thanks so much, Danny. Have get good. Uh, Whiteman has to get out the lineup. Uh, White man was not good, and uh, uh, the, the last minute, uh, uh, Pedro getting this is the goalie for the leave. Uh, at the end of the half, are we more entertaining this year? Class, we consider to overshift uh, giving the session at the end of the last season. Absolutely about this. Uh, I agree with you. Thanks so much, Rick, uh, for the Marlins. Uh, much better. Um, but we say thank you, coach. Uh, great job. Thank you so much, Bobby. About this, uh, Jack, I get that uh, sadly uh, with White man. Almond Gali Alinea Whiteman trash game for Dulia about this one over there. Um power play two and four and one and two for Montreal Canadian. Oh, I was not good on that one. Thank you, RJ. We got all the setup here. Uh, power play 24. Uh, anytime, Kelly Francois. The future look bright for Montreal. I agree with you, Rich Mester 22. Thanks so much, Rich Mester. Always a pleasure. Let's start Monday next game, coach. Uh, that will be his turn anyway. Rick, uh, they alternate uh, most of the time. Uh, good night, and they have a back to back game anyway. Me, uh, Rick, uh, have a great night, Mr. Michael. Thanks so much to stop by tonight. Uh, coach, should the leave fan now where Rick uh, both goalie are out injured? Um, of course, you know me. You have to go with your strength number three, and now you face Carolina tomorrow. You have face to uh, Vegas Tuesday night. Well, we don't know the, the how long it's going to be, but it was expected. <laughs> Matt Murray, for the last three years, is always injured, so you expect that. Samson Av is being injured before that, so that uh, would be interesting. Uh, he's got to turn 30, 40. No, uh, he's only 30 years old, 31 years old. MRX and uh, Montreal really need a second line to pick up uh, the place. Uh, depends too much on the first line tonight. Uh, but, you, you know, I, I I agree with you about this, MR, uh, Mr. X. But I would say not only second line, the third line, the fourth line. I uh, said that was going to happen. Uh, yep, exactly. Don't forget, guys, click on that. Good play by click. Oh, your app coming, doing faster. We thought they will. Uh, I agree with you about this, sir. Uh, Thank you so much, Bobby. I also came in the last second, but great as well. Thank you so much, John. Always a pleasure. Thank you, brother. Oh, and they quote tonight. Yes, sir, Mr. Shock. Oh, over there. Coley, defense, offensive, upside, impressed. Uh, 
the kid got a quit a killer shot and offensive and i agree with you about this uh five more likes to nhl fan no problem guys that don't forget guys to click on the likes Thanks so much, Mr. Ricky. We're going to go now on the post game uh, of the game tonight. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to fix this uh, post game. Uh, the guests go tonight. Uh, six. Uh, Montreal Canadian four. I said we got here. I would like to play my hand with soccer skills just to see it, if they have chemistry. Uh, Goalie and foyer would be a total start offensive Vince, I agree with you, Francois, about this. Uh, is it look like uh, a Brazil Samson uh, And I thought Link, uh, please, uh, Danny. Uh, and then uh, Luciano did it. Uh, Thanks so much. So what happened here, guys? We'll be live for about uh, 20 minutes. Uh, and then we'll talk about the game. You're welcome to call us and uh, talk about hockey. Not necessarily about the Montreal Canadian. If you can, that'd be better. But you can talk about anything else, and that will be. Uh, we can go there. I'm going to go uh, surf, surfing every other game, and and it shall see what's going on around the league at that moment. Uh, um, how did uh, ads play tonight, Dan? Um, you know, it was not the best game, honestly. Uh, um, Dan, I like the first period. They, they got dominated the second and third period overall, but they now give up. So they come back with goal. They score power play goal. Uh, and that, that, you know, a couple of good play, but uh, not a good. You can see Vegas is one more step better on Montreal Canadian overall for sure. All the game now are end, guys, and uh, nobody, uh, any other game start yet. So that's what we got at that moment. Tony, uh, good night, everyone. Tony, thanks so much. Uh, look forward to you next time. Uh, good evening. And then uh, here we go. We're going to go uh, and uh, directly from Manitoba. We're going to find our friend Dan. He's going to join us tonight uh, directly from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Tonight, welcome back in the house, Mr. Dan Asham. Good evening, Coach. How are you? I'm really good. What about you? Not too bad. Uh, was a quick question. Uh, how did the Habs look tonight, in your uh, opinion? You know, like I said, they, they played very well the first period. Uh, there was a good period for him and uh, for them. And then after that, they struggled the second period. Vegas just turned on the, the notch. And you can see that Montreal struggled with the forechecking of the Vegas Golden Knight. And they tried to respond, mm -hmm. but not good enough. And then Jake Adam have a great second period. Prophecy was not good because the third period was all about the Vegas or getting Montreal Canadian. But at the end of the day, um, you get out this game, you say, wait a minute, we lost, but uh, we did the young men uh, play well. Talk about Suski, Caulfield, a goal, Suski twice, Sakas, you have a goal. And uh, that's what you're looking for. You said the rookie played pretty good. So you have to be happy about that side. And we know it's going to be hard at the end of the day. And the power play, mm -hmm. they gave two goals on that one goal. And then you get Anderson, five minutes. But uh, you have to give credit for Vegas. Bigger, stronger, four second, skate wall. And the Montreal, you have no answer. Unfortunately, Jake Allen gave them a chance to win, but not good enough at the end of the day. Uh, another quick question. Who stood out for you in your eyes for the Habs tonight? Oh, you have to give back to Ski, right? Uh, Ski uh, was the best player for the Montreal Canadiens. Two goals again. Look, Ski is right now eight goals, I believe, and then uh, Caulfield at 15 goals. And tonight, I think with those three goals, uh, uh, I think they reached almost the 50 percent, the most the goal in uh, for the half of the goal for the Montreal Canadiens. So, at some point, we need more people. We need uh, the other players, you know. 
Uh, disappointment here so far for Mike Hoffman, Dadenov, Drouin, Anderson, Jake Evans. Uh, cannot blame him too much, but he still has zero goal. Uh, they've already have three goals, but three goals the same game. So, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, we need help from other part of the lineup, and it cannot be related. Imagine if tomorrow, the next five games, Ziski Coffee does not score. That and Dak. So, Montreal cannot win any game right now. So, they need to figure out some. I think it's time to maybe some, make some modification line. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure it'll be the right answer, but uh, it's good sometimes changing. So, But it, we know uh, that is going to be hard all year long, right? Uh, but we, well, you know, you get out tonight, you, you, you should be happy about this because it's fun watch. Oh, yeah, I'm happy kids. with it. I'll come in like, it wasn't that bad. Like, we didn't, I don't think the Habs played that bad tonight. But, you know, you, you can see a better team at the end of the day. And uh, like your comments, Rick said, the biggest every team. You have to write about that, yeah. right? And they got to welcome back in our coach. How many games yeah. do you think Anderson would get? Uh, I'd be surprised well, one I, or two games. As a, yeah. As I said to you, the Habs were looking, like, fine to watch him, watch him this year. They're looking a hell of a lot better than last year. And they're fun to watch. Yeah, so right. You know, it's the first game this year they gave over uh, six goals, uh, maybe two, but uh, I think most of the goals they gave this so far was five. But it's the first game, like you mm -hmm. see, a lead by three goals. Uh, they try to come back. I like the, the, the I like your Montreal not give up, and that's what we're looking for. I just like I said, we need my, we need help, and the help is coming for the the veteran player. The vet, it's carry on now. The team is carried on by Dak, Zuski, and Kafir. Yeah. And usually it's not should be that way. It should be the veterans carry on them, the, the team, and then the young get the young are following. But right now the young players follow, uh, bring more. If you look at the defenseman, I think white man, you know, I think it's time to get out of him. I think not get out of him, but mm -hmm. it's time to put him out of the lineup and then bring back Kovacevic. And then the youngest play better. Join them and have a difficult game overall tonight. Make a couple of mistakes. You cannot complain with him. Second game of the season. You can see he was a little bit behind. And But again, give credit for Bruce Cassidy, the head coach for Vegas Golden Knight. The, the team is strong. They are big. They are heavy. And they play on the structure. Uh, they, and they, I they, think, they and put I think their uh, Vegas is a fast team too. Yes. So we have what to give them. And the good ending. And over there, hanging there. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dan, uh, I'm talking about um, uh, Thompson and Adam Hill. So we have to give this that question about that. Uh. Yeah, no kidding. And, and one thing I think, too, I think they're enjoying uh, playing for St. Louis, too. I can see that in their eyes. You know what I mean by that? Uh, you know, it, 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 it's not easy for that enough, for Hoffman, for Drouin, and everything like that, right? It, it, they are the mm -hmm. end of the contract of most of them. And then money in is a little bit slower right there. I think it's time to see. Um, you know, uh, like uh, mm -hmm. Jerry said, maybe add a um, circus on the third line. That's what I just said, Jerry. I don't know what you put him, but I would say it's maybe time to split a couple of lines right now. I think money in with circus would be a little bit better. I think possibility to change the line of Devarak. Uh, keep Devarak, uh, Gallagher, but change again. Maybe Anderson drop down or whatever it is. Oh, for sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I think overall, you know, uh, the player does not show up, and that's the problem we get at the end of the day. And, and I said, as a step from the start of the year, I think Caulfield's still going to get 60, 60 points for sure. Yep. So, uh, again, there are no, you know, if to get 80 points, uh, Dan, or 70 points plus, right, you need to perform on the road. And right now, they, they, they do. And that will give them over the candy can run that one, you know, 12 games right now. And they have what 14, 15 points so far, mm -hmm. uh, you know. So they have a, you know, the Vegas dominate them on face off. The face off percentage tonight, the right guys only twenty two percent. Jake Evans twenty nine, San Manuel was sixty two, and Zuski was at fifty percent tonight. Two point for Zuski, two point for Carfield, and three mm -hmm. point guy for Kirby Dak. Mm. Okay, you have a good night there, Coach, and thanks so much. Thanks so much, Dan. Can for I can wait to see you until the next time, my friend. Always a pleasure having oh, yeah, you, you know aboard. Every time you go on live there, I'll be calling in. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank you, Bam, my you, friend. You know what? You keep up the good work and everything you do for your podcast. Thanks so much. Say hi to Kada Foss. Oh, for sure, I'll do that for sure. Shall work, but yeah, once you get some, I'll see you. Said hi.
All right. Have a good night, Danny. You too. Uh, you have a good night. It was Dan Asham directly from the Winnipeg, Winnipeg. But if anybody wants to join us, uh, please uh, don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. That'd be good to having each one of you uh, a part of the show tonight. Uh, um, that'd be good. Uh, Alan Vayako, Sarkaski should be on the second line. It's already better because most of the forward, except Ski Carfield. Car um, you know, Alan, I, I, I don't want to get there, like which line it should be, but I would say to you, um, maybe it's time to make some change right there for the line for the Montreal Canadiens. So, uh, I think it's a great about this one over there. And before we st before we go to the next one, 112 games straight back to back to back. Thank you. River, chop, chop, chop. Wow. 100 tonight uh, likes. Uh, this is not easy one, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be really difficult to get that one. But again, the moderator push to the end. And we love to, hit, uh, to have 100 likes uh, for sure. Oh, my God! And we did it on a great night of the Montreal Canadiens. Thank you so much. Association second line, Dak Manen Sakoski. I would be curious why, Kerry, you will drop. Why, Kerry, you will change Dak with Carfield and Zuzki. Jerry, Dak right now helping the first line. Why you want to modify that line over there? You know, you have a great line. Maybe one of the best in the NHL for the last couple of games. So why you want to cut that line over there? Zuzki, Carfield, and put who on the right side? And then you try to... I, 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 I disagree with you, Jerry. I will not change Dak over there. I will keep him on the on the top line. That's what is happening with there. Uh, we all uh, knew the veteran, uh, but you got uh, news. The kid are responding amazingly. Well, they are a big trend between the scoring up and against against like that. Uh, born to be abs, uh, bring Dubois next year to put what Slavkowski about this. Uh, that will cost you a lot of money. Thank you. KLS, uh, thanks so much, Danny, for everybody. Coach, how many games do you think Anderson would get there? Minimum one, possibly two. Um, that would be my number about this one over there. Uh, what grade do you give up after 11 games so far, Coach? Uh, um, B minus, and after, I will say to you, because the expectation was not there. Uh, like the way you have a lot of good thing about this and that you have the you have a great performance for goaltending most of the game. The rookie play better what we expect. Uh, do you have uh, the 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 Caulfield Caulfield Dak and Zuski have an amazing great year so far, and Sikorsky progress again third goal already for Sikorsky, and so if you calculate everything, I have to go with B minus. Uh, uh, I was never thought after 12 game or 11 game there would be 5-5-1. Five, five, now they are 5-6-1. But uh, took overall, I like the way they, they play. I like the way they, they uh, really, um, they never give up. The work ethic is there. The structure is pretty good. The power play start to get better. Unfortunately, the PK start to be back, <laughs> bad. But at the end of the day, um, I think that's fine now. The problem is the extra forward, and we'll see now if Josh Anderson is out. Possibility is out now to bring another player, so possibly uh, that enough have not go nowhere, nowhere at this moment. Uh, Edmonton was a giveaway machine tonight. Uh, I agree with you about this. Uh, uh, Edmonton have not a very really good night overall, uh, and have enough great comments from you. Always uh, Chicago back in the house. Welcome back. Uh, thanks to join us. Uh, C plus uh, in our tap. Uh, um, I think you're hard on them, but to give them C+, I know by B- is the same thing, and both the same thing, uh, because the fact, like, they play better with my expectation. Um, if there was B6 points so far, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be what my expectation was. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's almost the same thing. Uh, that uh, fit very well on the first line. Look, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about this. A three point tonight. Emerson also have a black shot tonight uh, for the 
for them. Uh, yeah, you have an eight block shot, but on the flip side, you have guys six gave away. Montreal guys have gave away uh, 18 puck. They gave 18 time for the Montreal Canadiens, right? 13 of them are coming from Montreal Canadiens. And 12 minutes, Whiteman gave four giveaway puck, Chris Whiteman. Uh, so it's something they have to get better on that one there. Jackai play only 13-27 tonight. Uh, and then Sakoski play 11-34 tonight uh, with uh, Mike Hoffman. Uh, they are the two lowest. And Brendan Gallagher, guys, play 11 minutes, 27. So it'll be interesting to see why Gallagher play 11 minutes. Caulfield and Zizki play 22 minutes uh, on the ice. Uh, and we got uh, shot on the net. Uh, five by Caulfield uh, and three by this. Uh, we're going to go directly from Vegas, uh, downtown Nevada. Our friend Bobby back at the Nats, uh, back in the lineup of the line tonight. And so, Bobby, welcome aboard. How you doing, Coach? How you doing, my friend? How you doing? Okay, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. We can hear you very perfectly great, my friend. So what do you think yeah, about so the Golden what, Knights tonight? What do, you think, what do you think of the Golden Knights there, Coach? Um, I was impressed. I would be honest with you. The, the Compare from last season, I would say to you. And I know they have a lot of help. But don't, don't go that way. I would say to you, I love their structure. I love what Bruce Cassidy brings to them. Uh, they are really inside of the all all in. Uh, they don't turn a lot of puck. Uh, they're really good on the four checking. They are heavy on the puck position. Uh, they they on always on the on the nose or the face of the opponent team on behind the goal line, and they try, they drive to the net a lot. So, uh, from the top line to the four line, they make an impact. He can put. Uh, Rua, Colsar, and Carrier, and they still have a chance to score. And they prove it tonight. We have two goals from the four line. Rua and Colsar score a goal. The defense is strong, big, huge. If you have a, an average goalie, like just an average goalie, not like a, a bad goalie, but not like a big goalie, just an average, the Golden Knight going to have a good year overall. I think they are one of the most, the best team I saw so far uh, behind, the, uh, behind the Carolina and uh, the Boston Bruins. The, the one the one thing I noticed that um, what's going on in the league right now, there still is, like we talked about earlier in the year, no protections for the goalies. So you're seeing so many goalies getting injured right now. I'm wondering if that's going to be a problem in the future with that injury. If, uh, you know, if Aiden Hill or Logan Thompson get injured, all they have is Lauren Brossois, and I don't know if that's going to be, you know, I just hope that they can stay healthy. But that's the key for them, right? Uh, because I said to you, if they're not healthy, they don't have a lot of prospect or they don't have like, they have, but not like the other team, right? They, they are really li li minimum. They don't have a lot of good players back. They could be because their lineup is, they don't have no money, right? The sorry cap is there. So they are right. not like, uh, they cannot aff afford to losing two player example and to expect the same result. Uh, of course, they're going to hang in there, but... I would say to you, if example, they, make, they lose Mac Stone, that would be a problem for them. They lose Jack Eichel, I think it would be a little bit problem. For me, it's the depth of Vegas right now. I'm really impressed tonight. Uh, not the first line, we know who they are, but the depth. I'm talking about the, the, the four line over there. I think for me, the four line play a little bit better to the third line, honestly. Yeah, and I, I believe they still have other players in the Silver Knights in their next league underneath them that can come up and play just, you know. In fact, they had to send some down, like like LeCision, players like him that are still pretty good, um, Marinoff that they brought in. And um, so they're, they're, they are very deep, like you say, Coach, even what they have on the ice now. But if something happens, I think they have enough to – I think they plan for it this year because in the past years they didn't have that background depth to come up and play like they can now. So I think yeah. that's going to be a big difference. Exactly, right? So you, can, you, you check tonight, like Odin, Amadio, and Kessel. It's almost their four line. They play only less of 10 minutes, each one of them. So uh, the third line was more like uh, Calzar and Carrier and Rua. My 
key is to be sure they don't get to, like I'm talking about the top six players get hurt or the you know what I mean. I think yeah, the defense I, they have not depth over there. Whatever they miss, I don't know, like McNabb or Martinez or they have depth. I think a Hag or White Cloud could be a top four and many team in in a shot. So their depth defense is really strong. I'm worried about the top six. If you lose one of them, after that, it's not great uh, to use any of the bottom six mm -hmm. at the top six. Does it make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me because even, you know, the leader right now is definitely Mark Stone. And I think he's the one, he's the older guy. He's the guy that's kind of, can, between him and Kessel, they're good, they're good, you know, mentors for the younger guys on the team. And they're very good, you know, people to look up to because I think even like Eichel seems like he's played a lot better since Mark Stone has come back. You know, it's not, not a lot of, a lot of the pressure is lifted off of his shoulders or he doesn't have to be on every night. So yeah, definitely true. If, if some of those top six players are gone, it's going to be real tough, but I wanted to, I wanted to change the, change the subject a little bit. I, like we were talking about earlier, I think the Canadians, um, they're really they're improving a lot better than I think they we thought they would, and I think a lot of it has to do with Martin Saint Louis. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, yeah, absolutely right, Barbie about that one over there. They played a bit better again. Like you know, it's I'm impressed me the 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 progression of Cole Caulfield. Um, I make a video yesterday about Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki, uh, and Cole Caulfield is not become a, a, he is not only a scorer. He become a He become a hockey player. He played well on the three zone. Uh, he play is two hundred game now. He's stronger. He has confidence. You can see tonight and that line back Zuzuki and uh, Carfield do have a good job right now. I would be interested to see all the analytics. They play about only forty five minutes to get out fifteen minutes. We have to give it a bit longer, but he could become a great uh, line and NHL for the future. We talk about twenty three years old, twenty one years old, at twenty one years old. Uh, so yeah, Kyle Caulfield's an all-star definitely coming up. And, you know, the, the, the Canadians would talk about some of their trades, but they did get Suzuki, and that wasn't – we didn't get anything, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's the one. He came for the Vegas for the night. You know, he strong. gave up with Tatal, them, a second-round pick. I think it's the wrong – their second-round pick was Norlander for the Montreal Canadian, and a long-term patriotic is gone from the Vegas, and they get nothing in return. So you're absolutely right. Yeah. But this has always been like way for Vegas, right? Uh, management That's make true. a lot of different questionable decision overall, and uh, you know, for me, the only place they do well, honestly, <laughs> it's funny you said that, but I would say to you, the selection of the coach. They they always have a great coach over there. Um, whatever yeah, is Gerald like, Gannon, like uh, Peter DeBoer, or they get. The, I think I'll be honest with you. If Peter DeBoer have a full healthy team last season. I think that team will be made the playoff last season. Well, I just think there's a lot of bad blood there because I think um, I don't think DeBoer ever liked Mark, Mark Andre Fleury, and that's why they got rid of him right away because he had a choice between him and Leonard, and they didn't want to. It was between the contract, but it was also because the rivalry between San Jose because he was the former coach of San Jose. I still think there was a lot of bad blood between. Well, the I don't know about. I, I, I'm not sure about this, but we said to you, I don't think we knew one thing. It was because the money salary cap. Uh, it was That's the easy way to move. At 7.5, 36 years old, 37 years old, it was the right way to move this. But again, the problem you get those stuff. The they signed the a big contract. The they give away those players, unfortunately. And he's not the only one. They trade uh, patriotic for Nathan, and that hurt the team. And that, that, they are not the only team, I, uh, Barbie. Because you look about. When you have contract like they have, like nine million, ten million, seven million, eight million, like four or five players, like Toronto, it, their team cannot be at the bottom uh, with no debt. Look, Calgary, uh, look, Carolina. How many players make over nine millions? Yeah, yeah. Right, but it's they are more debt at the bottom, right? Here. They are more debt, so yeah. they 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 prefer to have nine forward, an average of four or five million dollars compared to. 10 to, you know what I mean? Like, of course you yeah, have to pay an hour. I, I, I compare it more to like, because Fleury was such a heart and a leader on the team, I compare him to more like an Alex Ovechkin where the Washington 
paid him his money because he put in his time there. I think what happened when DeBoer came in, he was going to be second string again, fighting for his first string play, Marc-Andre Fleury. And that's why he didn't do good anymore in Pittsburgh because they benched him for Murray. And then he felt second fiddle where he came to, he came to Las Vegas and he was reborn again. You know, it's like he was he was our number one goalie no matter what, and then that faded away, and then, and then when DeBoer came in, it faded away because there he was going back to wondering if he's going to be starting again. And I think you know psychologically in a hockey team that can screw up a lot of people, a lot of players' minds, especially when you're following a leader on a team. But that's, that's the I point. Think I think uh, what what they did last season was the biggest problem it, because I think Fleury and uh, and um. Reeves was really good in locker room. There was like two big leader, like uh, you know, and around the locker room. Vancouver just scored a goal, by the way. Uh, but uh, um, I, I, I think that was the two piece of puzzle they have to figure out after that, the after the math, everything like that. So at the flip, at the end, the, the, that remind me a lot of Montreal last season for Vegas, where they have many injuries. Like look, Washington Capitals yeah. this year, right? Look what they look like. And whatever who they are, if you miss too many pieces of the puzzle, that's going to work. Whatever But you have, Owen Skin, you have a uh, Quamper, uh, uh, they have no, too many. They're missing now Backstrom, Wilson, Connor Brown, Oshi, J Carlson. You're going to hang in there, but you're going to fall at some point. That's happening with Vegas last year. And that's sometimes going through, sometimes going through my mind is it because are we going to keep our injuries going on because we don't want to play for our coach? I'm sorry again. Uh, well, I was thinking maybe a lot of them didn't want to come back and play because they didn't like to coach. Well, that's another maybe story about this, right? The Boston Bulls did the yeah, same thing this year. Cassidy was like, uh, he was out because they're complaining about the players. Barry Trout was out because they're complaining about the players. And uh, it, it's almost I, I just felt that when, when Gallant was there, we had like a French connection because we had a lot of Canadian players. That, 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 that blended well with Gallant, and it was a great mix of American and Canadian players, but I felt like we were more like Canadian than American, and we played better with, under Gallant. But, but now with should, Cassidy... You know, mate, you coach, should never fire Gallant. No. And I think that no. would be helping the team a long time. We're never going to see that, right? We don't know because... We're never going to know why either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It would be interesting to follow them, but right now they're looking great for me. I'm really impressed. Uh, one of the biggest teams. Again, Montreal struggled with the Minnesota. They struggled about Dallas. They struggled about Vegas. Three of the biggest teams in the NHL as a, not a physical team, but a heavy team come to your face with their fourth checking. And Montreal, yeah. unfortunately, have no answer about this. But glad they score four goals. It's an exciting game. It's just the second glad, period was a bit more about Vegas. I'm glad we didn't get Jake Allen either. <laughs> yes, about that one. we didn't trade for Jake Allen. <laughs> yep. So thanks yeah. so much, uh, Robert, uh, Bobby, to stop by. It was a pleasure. You're welcome to join us Thank anytime, you, Bobby. That'd be great if you want to join us. So we'd love to have you more often. You have, you're awesome, and you have greatness inside of you, Coach. Uh, it's coming from each one of you. Um, so I'm getting more greatness because each one of you guys. Take care. Have a good night, Bobby. Bobby, right. back at the night, guys. Directly from Vegas uh, and the house tonight. Uh, and uh, again, a big fan of the Vegas go to night one, but it's called, uh, uh, one, but it's called six to four again in Montreal. Can we have a couple of people in that chat? Uh, I know uh, Minnesota Zebra, welcome back in the house. Canucks 2-0, uh, go right away there. And Vegas going to, they won three of the last four games. Uh, Vegas uh, keep consistent to get that W. Great to hear that. Uh, Uh, Francois, we have to give praise to Bergy and Timmons for Gouli. The kid of Major Upside would be a star about this one over there. Uh, okay, let's uh, Bobby crush it. Yes, okay, let's. Uh, uh, you know what, uh, Francois? I, I was going to make a video this week about Marc Bergevin and Trevor Timmons. So you can complain the trait, so get Chef, Drouin, and you know, you always make. Yeah, they score again. Vancouver? Oh, no. Uh, they, they always um, looking for the negativity, the negative, right? They're always looking for one thing to second thing, and then 
you think is a bad, is a bad. I think for me, uh, the last three years, Magdal Shomay Tournament draft a lot of good players. Not only Kaden Cody, but the Jordan Iris, that's number two over there. Uh, they signed Jakar. Uh, they are a result of Shane Farrell. They are coming the next couple of years. They are a result possibly of uh, the uh, Iris. That's another one over there I mentioned to you. Then I missed another one I'm thinking about. Cole Caulfield. That's another one. Came from uh, from Mac Bergevin and the 15 overall pick. So you, you, you have to give credit for Mac Bergevin. They did at the end of their, uh, their with the Montreal Canadian. Uh, Franco, uh, Luc Foston, uh, there we go. Rick uh, Kelly, uh, you still here? Melissa, hope you feel better. Melissa, feel better. Um, uh, uh, they will tie in one to one, Randy, about the big game, the flame, and uh, the category. Uh, Jack Hughes can make an insane pass. Uh, Joseph Laham, yes, he is. Uh, about this, I need to check that game over there. Uh, Franco, coach, yeah, I'm looking for positivity, but when I see the way making cash from two commercial tonight, until I suffer, I'm plays a plays. I understand we are fed up. Yeah, I understand the point of view, but it's not about Mac Bergevin. <laughs> about this, but I can understand, but quite been much a better team with uh, Mikhail and Lanap score again tonight. Uh, yeah, it is uh, about this one over there. Uh, we're going to bring uh, RJ Calabro, guys, uh, directly from New Jersey. Uh, we're going to welcome back uh, RJ Calabro, our reporter, all the information about the NHL. Mr. RJ, welcome in the house. What's up? How you guys doing? Good, you? All right, I just watched I just watched all the old games online. Just looked up. Uh, I watched all the other games in the afternoon. That's crazy, right? A uh, lot of game today, a couple of game afternoon, and then tonight we have a busy night. Uh, uh, good timing because you have, you know, an early game. They don't have a lot of middle game. Usually you have always a game at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Not tonight. It's already 7 o'clock. First of all, they have 2 o'clock, 4, 3, 4. Yeah. But uh, tonight we have a split between both, so it was great to have the Now we have a couple of action tonight, uh, right now, with uh, Vancouver play and uh, Nashville. The Calgary Flame played the New Jersey Devils, so uh, two games to go yeah. to follow up for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm just watching. I'm, go I'm ahead. I'm just watching the. I'm just watching the Phillies games right now on baseball. Right now, the Astros, the Astros are beating the Phillies three to one in the top of the six. They take the lead three to one. Three to one in the top of the six. Whoa! Possibly we have the world champion tonight. Yep, it's gonna be the Ash will be the world's champion tonight if they win it. Wow, that'd be a you know shocking. But uh, we thought the you know the favorite like the Dodger, the Los Angeles Dodger was one of the best team in in, in baseball this year, and we expect yeah. possibly that Clint there will come back again. But uh, that's the beauty of the uh, sport about this. Uh, so, uh, what do you have? Uh, uh, you tell us a bit. Any other news you have, or we think you talk about the hockey today? Mm, nothing. I don't hear anything about. I don't hear nothing. I look on. I watch on anything on, on the on the on the show Netflix on TV today. There's no no updates. No nothing. Oh, no show news. No nothing. Did you follow a little bit? The always follow the NCA football. Yep, all that too. Yep, all I heard that the too. LSU won today, and they have a big game between Notre Dame, Michigan, I believe. Yep. So. Uh, so it'll be a, a very interesting about this for there. So it uh, will be a, a lot of action tonight. Tomorrow we have a couple of games in NHL. Mr. RJ, I think Toronto play again the Carolina. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. There's, uh, tomorrow there's three games. Tomorrow is Toronto and the Hurricanes at five. Uh, Red Wings and the Rangers at five. And the Panthers and the Ducks at nine o'clock. Busy night. Only three games on the schedule tomorrow. That'd be a busy night about this. What do you think about, um, you know, about the, the football tomorrow? Are you particularly watching NFL football game tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. The um, My football team um, on that week, I'm watching my football team. My, uh, I'm watching all the other football games tomorrow. Watching the Jets versus the Bills tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And the I Giants see. got the day off. Tomorrow. Yeah, I they see. got the day off. They're going to rest. And then tonight we change the time, right? Yep. 
So it'd be what, two o'clock, we'd go backwards like one o'clock. Is that, is that how this works? Yes. Awesome. Yes. LSU eat lead the lead at the fourth quarter from Randy. He said about this one over there. So uh, I'm glad yeah. to see that about this. And then he gets it right there. All right, RJ, always a pleasure have you aboard. I look forward to seeing you next time. And uh, well, we appreciate it again. About the, last week, the last week I lost the quarterfinals at, at my high school. I lost. Four, uh, lost, uh, my last game was uh, 17, 17 10 final. 17 10. Yeah. I lost and you guys, you lost, lost Friday night, right? Your season is over now, right? Yeah. Yeah. My record for the season is 8 and 2 for the season. There we go. Time to focus on hockey now. Yep. Now I'll be here all the time now <laughs> watching hockey. <laughs> <laughs> have a great night Miss RJ always a pleasure everybody I appreciate your work for the Hockey Nation show I'm the first one to okay. say we are very really grateful oh, having you aboard if you guys know keep more keeping those likes on that chat right now so I'm watching the <laughs> likes all the time. thanks keep so much RJ likes. have a good night right. have a great night all right, RJ directly from New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to bring now Miss Kelly in the house and directly from Ontario somehow. She's going to talk about the Toronto Maple Leaf and everything like that. Then Miss Kelly, welcome aboard. Hi, Coach. How are you? Pretty good. You? Good, good, good. So um, what do you have to talk about? Uh, the Leafs. <laughs> Here we go. So Can you I were say right. a bit more Both because I honestly I didn't know look at the game. So you're going to give us a bit more uh, update or information. What do you think um, about the performance, everything like that? Oh, Matthew's first goal was amazing. Yeah. yeah. And um I I felt like every time Boston was there, they were like in the zone, they were there to get it out. Like they were just quick at it, like, you know. I'm really surprised they beat them. Yeah, of course, you, you know, it's, it's, um, Toronto right now is like a, uh, like a playoff mode, right? They cannot lose. They, they, they have to get back on the track and the next three game is really where they have to figure out. And they did it tonight as a good performance. Now, Carolina tomorrow, back to back game will be hard for them and yeah. they'll be okay if they lose that one. But then they play Tuesday, the Vegas. That will be another game they have to figure out on that one over there. But, uh, look. They respond well. They beat Flowers. Now they beat the uh, Boston Browns. That's a good news. It will be interesting to see them uh, tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow well, afternoon. Yeah, but, I think like being home, they're a lot better at home. Probably like a lot of other teams. Yeah, like you have the, the last base. respond they're right. Home. You have, you can protect a little bit your line mm -hmm. in between that. But you know, I think for for what we heard in the chat tonight from you and other people, they like the way they work. They like they show up. And it was ready for the game. So those kind of the thing did not have for the last since the beginning of the season. So to hear that, I think that's really positive for the Toronto Maple Leaf. Now is to keep consistent with the, from that game and then pushing back. Of course, they have talent there. And uh, uh, again, whatever they win to lose, they're going to make the playoff. It's not matter. They're going to be always to look when they play in the playoff and they have to go through the first round. If not, it's not a successful year. It's sad to say that, but that's the reality behind that. I think I am concerned about the goalie injuries, though. Just of like course. you said at the beginning, they were going to go down. I I think, you know, Calgary has some a few good stops tonight, um, but I really am concerned going forward because apparently Walls hurt, somebody said, so I don't know who's going to back up Calgary at this point. Or Shalgren. Um it's it's very concerning the way Samsonov went down. Like he like the way he went down on his back, it, it was his knee, but I maybe don't... his knee was jam. I don't know. I didn't see yet the, the injury, but you think about Murray as a long term right now. I know it's a grain yeah. if I can recall it, or a nap to cur a nap to guitar, whatever they call it. And then you have a, a knee injury, it's not it's not that good because an injury goalie, injury knee, uh, I don't know what he got. But if it, whatever it is like a little bit like a two, three, four weeks, uh, you cannot carry on that team with Cal Green all the night. And that would be interesting yeah. thing about that one over there. So, uh, but that, why wouldn't uh, they think of that? Like, why wouldn't they think of that when they signed these two? Like, you even said, considering the history of the injuries between both of them, like, it was just, 
we're not even 15 games in yet, are we? Like, well, the, for me, it's more about like I think Samsonov at one point eight million dollar was a good deal. I think the one with Maria four point yes. seven. I think it's not a really good. Uh, but again, at that moment, uh, Dubai was squeezed because all the goaltender was signed left and right, right. Uh, and then you talk about Campbell. They have a good start with Edmonton. A lot of goaltender left and right don't have a good start in NHL. Um, because they have a lot of carousel, but uh, not many perform uh, uh, with a new team, obviously. But it uh, would be interesting to follow them. Like I said, um, th- Toronto have everything to make the playoff. That would be good. For me, I- I'm happy because I think every time they win, that push Florida out of the lineup of the playoff. That would be good for us, for the Montreal Canadian fans. So, uh, and uh, that's um, what we're looking for. But, like, do you think they'll play Anderson tomorrow against us? Being back at home? Um, yes, because Rento was the last game. Okay, so Anderson and then... Yeah, yeah Calgary playing today. I don't know who they're going to... Well, he played the third no, period, you, you, so I guess... You use Calgary tomorrow. So it'll be Calgary versus again. Anderson tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't see them winning that game. That'll be hard because uh, Calgary, uh, you know, back-to-back game and then Carolina, and then it's a short night because the game starts at 5 o'clock, so you go to bed, you go to eat, go to bed at 1 o'clock. It's not the routine yeah. normal when you play at 5 o'clock. And uh, so, uh, but you sleep one more hour, so we have an extra hour to sleep. So the good news for them, but I think it will be hard for them, uh, a team. Now we want to be sure they, they play hard. That's the only thing I'm looking for for Toronto tomorrow. Possibly I do the game. I don't want to promise. I don't want to... Yeah. But possible I do it. It would be five o'clock here at that time here, so I'll maybe um uh, wait before o'clock, but it would be one extra hour, so it'll be my time to wake up. So we'll be I'm not sure. We'll see. But even with Florida coach, like San Jose came back the other night, right? And it took it to OT. Was it a shootout? It was one of the two. Again who? Uh, San Jose and Florida. Florida, San Jose came back, and I think Florida won in a shootout. Yeah, they won an overtime. So the Florida won an yeah. overtime. Uh, that won over there. San Jose come back. You have a great start by Eric Carlson for sure. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, thanks, Eli. Well, thank uh, not because I want to shut you cut, but I cut you down because uh, we have a uh, William and the back door uh, waiting in all the right. chat. So thanks thank so you, much, Kelly. We'll give talk. us an update. I didn't watch the game, but I uh, really appreciate again, Kelly, for everything. All right. Thank you, Coach. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thanks so much, Kelly. Uh-huh. Was Kelly come uh, big fan of the Toronto Maple Leaf in the house? We have to go directly from Denver, downtown, and Colorado, where maybe it's snowing. I'm not sure if it's snowing or not. Uh, we have our friend William Snyder back in the house for uh, with the Hockey Nation Show. Welcome back, Mr. William. Yeah, we actually did get some snow the other day. So, yeah, it, there was snow on the ground. So, uh, we do get snow here. But, uh, yeah, it was awesome. We also got two wins for the Avs. So, that was pretty awesome. Hat trick by Rantanen. Uh, Makar's got two goals. So Great weekend awesome. for them. Pretty you know, awesome Col- whatever Columbus is one of the bottom, and it's, it's not the way. It's to be sure you don't lose those games. And the way they respond, I like the fact McKenna have a good weekend. Rantanen step up. And you, they, I think they play without Nico Shin, if I can recall it. Yeah, I think Nakushin is still out. Uh, the thing that was amazing to me was the unselfishness of uh, McKinnon to pass the puck to Rantanen and let him get the hat trick. I mean, that was just amazing. You know, it just shows the skill and, and the, the presence of mind to say, I got to get it to him so he get that hat trick. That was awesome. Yeah, definitely about this. They play in Finland, you know, downtown for country like Likonen and Ratanen. That's great to see them. Over there, so oh, it's yeah. a, a great Good play. Point. It's not yeah. fun to play on the road like this, right? That they're, they're traveling, be back. They're going to have a couple more days off, but uh, they need those two W. And you know the the Central Division is not easy. Uh, the Dallas Conference is winning, Winnipeg Conference is winning, Minnesota is hanging there. And now I know we know right now the, of course you're going to make the playoff, but uh, it's not an easy division right now, and they have to come back under yeah. groove at who they are. Well, look at Vegas. I mean, Vegas is looking good, uh, you know, um, and I'm in a, a battle right now with Dallas. Um, one of one of my friends that I do a podcast with, he's a Dallas fan, so we're constantly drawing back and forth. He's actually winning right now, so 
you know, it just, it is what it is. I mean, Dallas has a better record and they're looking better and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, we'll just see how it goes when it comes down towards the stretch. And like I say, I don't really see the Jets really being that dark horse, like uh, Marco says, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, I mean, the Jets are looking good too. So, I mean, yeah, there's not very many teams that are looking bad. The good news for them, Ken McCall have a good weekend over there. And McCall was 0 7 or 0 8 in the beginning of the season. Now he scored two goals yeah. uh, for McCall and yeah. he adds on the weekend uh, one assist, I believe. So uh, this is very important for him. And that's a good yes, game uh, for him. So, uh, you know, that's good yeah. to see that. I, I feel. I feel bad for the Habs. I, I wanted to see them beat the Knights tonight, but, you know, at the same time, the the Golden Knights are just on fire. I mean, if you put up four goals and still lose the game, I don't know how many you're going to win uh, yep. doing that. You know, I mean, it's rough. That's a rough night. Awesome. Anything you want to add before yeah. we let you go? Uh, well, I just want to appreciate all the stuff you bring to um, the hockey community, Coach. Uh, it's really awesome. Uh, all your lessons that you give as far as the analytics and everything you do is just awesome. So I really appreciate that. I learned a lot every time I watch your stuff. So Very kind of you, uh, William. We, uh, like you said, you have many people in the chat like you are one of them. And you make that, that chat better and you make the channel better. Hopefully we can find 100 more like you. And I think it will be a, a good space. <laughs> awesome. Good That's luck, awesome. Mr. William. Well, uh, well, do you know when the, uh, yeah, the Colorado sure. play in the next game? Uh, I believe it's coming up Monday. I, I actually have a game that I'm going to coming up next in the next few weeks. My brother has season tickets, so oh wow, I'm, I'm going to a game coming up soon. That was my birthday present, so awesome. Uh, I don't know which exactly a game, but it's coming up. It's going to be soon. So That's awesome. I'll, uh, I'll get you some pictures. I'll, I'll send you some pictures. It's called the Ball Arena, right? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> the ball yeah. no. Before it's, it was the Pepsi Center. It's, about yeah, it's one. still Pepsi Center on uh, on Google. It's still Pepsi Center. On, yeah, like, the, the facility of Pepsi Center is at Arapao, if I can recall it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's it's fun. Yep, downtown. Oh, yeah. Right on, there, sir. That one well, there. So, uh, do you go sometime to Denver Pioneer at the, uh, at the Hockey University, at the NCAA? Uh, yeah, my uh, I have a friend that does security at the at DU Arena. It's yep. called Magnus Arena. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, and uh, he invited me down there for them hanging the banner. They were hanging the banner for their uh, uh, championship, and I didn't get a chance to go. But I had a free ticket if I wanted to go. I just didn't get a chance to go. It's a great but, place yeah, to I, go. I like, it's really fun and entertaining yeah. over there. It's more about five thousand. Nice, uh, short, yeah. uh, like uh, it's a nice, uh, hot place to go. Like I mean, you know, it's it's just great to go there. I've been there so many times. Like uh, no, not Takodo would play there. The Friday, uh, see you over there. I love to watch those games over there. It was a great night uh, to go at the. Yeah, the so team. I'm I'm more where I live is more north of Denver, so I'm closer. It's closer for me to go to the Eagles, and uh, the so oh, the you, Eagles you, are you, just you, uh, like you pass yeah. Boulder. Are you not a Boulder? Uh, so I'm like by what, like Longmont. So oh, you're Longmont. Like oh, wow. Between. Yeah, yeah, Longmont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know exactly where yeah, you so at about this one over there. It's it's the same distance to go to DU as it is to go to the Eagles, but either way, they're both good venues and they're both fun. I like the Budweiser Event Center up there too. I cannot remember. You can maybe remind me. Do you remember the church at the Walmart? They turn around the Walmart like a church. Hmm. Uh, uh, it, for like a nightclub? No, it's like the 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 Walmart. Like a, like they, 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 they bought the Walmart. The Walmart get out, and then the church to go over there. He was a great uh, pastor. Uh, he was a big uh, Steeler fans, I believe. No, Broncos fans, honestly. But he was fun. He was a guy pastor, shop in jeans. He was really open up, like a, a good guy, a good dude. Uh, and okay. um, I can't remember. I've been there many times. Yeah. I cannot remember the name of the church anymore over there. But it was like North. It was not a yeah. low man. It's a bit far. Uh, but it was North and Boulder. Okay, you're probably talking off like 104th. It's called like Church Ranch Boulevard. Yeah, probably, I think so. Over there. Yeah. Yeah, like I know. I think I know you're talking about. 
Uh, was that like a nightclub or was it like a... Was no, it, it was a Walmart. Like a, Okay. At Walmart okay. stores. Yeah, yeah, well, that one. There. Then I went to another place was downtown, like a small location in, in Colorado. Uh, they have always a Friday night. The first, the, it's called the first Friday. Uh, how do you call it? The first Friday. Um, they have always like great music outside uh, in Colorado. I cannot remember. That. It was a small location. I've been there many okay. times. I cannot remember. That's a long time ago, but uh, one of my buddy yeah, go there um, every so I, I did, I'm an electrician, and uh, I did the electrical for a place called the uh, 5280 Burger Bar downtown. It was yep. on 16th Street Mall. And uh, the place that was upstairs was called uh, Coyote Uglies. And it was a Coyote Uglies bar. And then you could go up there, and they had girls dancing on the bar, and they get the people come in there. All the people come and dance on the bar and everything. Uh, they try to get the people that come in. Just yeah, I've been there. <laughs> I've been there one time with two time uh, over there about this. Uh, usually, I hold my time uh, and cut out at the at the holders or the Twin Peak. There you go. Yeah, the place Twin to go there. Awesome I live in the, yeah. at the at the boulder, like it's called like Lake uh, Superior. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just did a job up there. Just did a yeah, job so there. I go there a lot, and I was holding like hiking every single day. But uh, you have a tweet pick about like 1.5 miles from my location, and uh, all my did, uh, my hockey meeting uh, it was at the tweet pick. <laughs> did Did you hear about the uh, the Marshall fire? Uh, yeah, a long time ago, yeah, like three years ago. No, it was like last year. Oh, it was last year already, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I so was working that, a this few fire, away. right? It was exactly what I was leaving. Like, I was like, you know, the fire was a bit behind, but uh, the devils yeah. just call a guy three to one. Sorry about that. Uh, wow. Go devils. So, devils hanging there, uh, make a wood score. So, honey, all, Mr. Um, you know, Mr. Yeah. William, we appreciate a lot. Welcome to come back anytime, yeah, awesome. my friend. Yeah, we could talk Colorado all night, coach. I appreciate you. Anytime, my friend. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good night. Yep, have a good night, sir. All right, William Snyder, guys, directly for Denver downtown, uh, talking about hockey, of course, uh, and always a pleasure to have him aboard, guys. Uh, and I think it was a great night for everybody, because I believe the area is called Rock Spring, uh, the channel. Yeah, possible. And I thought, what do you think of the Stick Podcast? Uh, uh, 13 rookie uh, Alexian that made the parlay a drink white claw. Uh, <laughs> About 13 rookie, but so our 13 rookie, you're the second 13 in the house. Uh, we have a semi uh rookie about this one. Uh, 13, uh, I'm also the devil score. We have to expect the Ox fans, uh, Chicago Bat uh, Ox. Uh, uh, they are playing uh, Flame, yeah, they are playing right now. Franco MS has to find a way to settle them down and get Melage out of them. But true, we are all replaceable. Uh, uh, imagine that rookie, a rookie coach telling yeah, employer to relax and have fun. After all, we are all attachable, disappearable. Yeah. Um, point Ben, you're the best in the junior. Do you be in this? We be interested to count a couple of moves coming for the Montreal Canadian for sure. Don't forget, guys, that we have a show tomorrow. It's called the Ad Brown Show Daily News. Tomorrow is going to be recording. We have carrying hands back in the house tomorrow. And uh, we're going to try to put this live early we can. And uh, we would be interesting. If possible, we do a premiere. We're not sure yet. But uh, that's what's happening tomorrow, guys, uh, about this. Uh. We have a couple of games on right now in the initial. Try to see what we have. The Canucks 2 0 at the end of the first player. The Devils 3 1 over the Flames. The Sharks take the lead 1 0 over the Anaheim Ducks. The Panthers just uh, 0 0. Uh, again, the Pen uh, again, the Kings just open up uh, the game. The Detroit Red Wing beat Islanders 3 0. Colorado beat. Uh, um, beat um, Blue Jacket. You know, in our tap, uh, you know, in our tap, it's funny. 
uh, on my fantasy team, Kel McCarr and Johnny Goudreau play today, and they don't count their goal. The, maybe their stat is not there, but my play does not count. I don't know what's going on there. That's strange. Anyhow, uh, Rock Spring, Colorado, while Mike was in the, con uh, the Condes Plaza. Here we go. Uh, you have to write the channel about this one over there. Uh, let's turn it to enjoy tonight. Live uh, last uh, there, 13. Yep. Uh, good job, William. Exactly, Franco. I've taught uh, many hockey players. Michael uh, Carey, uh, she's always in the set. Coach, uh, will be at 1 o'clock your time when the Ox play the Canadian because it will be at 1 o'clock here. Uh, we had a long time ago. I don't know when, but it will be, and we're going to be up at that time if we have to. Uh, make up, have at least one assist. CG. Yeah, have one goal, I believe. But for some reason, they need to translate the point from Finnish to Finnish culture. I, I don't know. Like, uh, usually my pl I don't know. It's really strange. Huh? Good night, guys. Randy, uh, good luck with your flame tonight. Uh, they're still hanging there, but they're losing 3-1. I know the last at home be really uh, interesting to see the flame losing uh, uh, for that. And uh, Randy, I am uh, sure like uh, but coach is the best uh, in a tap. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Mr. In a tap. Uh, uh, I want to curious who scored for the flame. Uh, Kadri scored for the flame, guys. Uh, the first goal of the night. Asked by uh, Danev and Lewis. Uh, interesting. Uh, Alberto does not work uh, so far. We have a three point. Uh. Jimmy Ben, I've had three tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe William could give a shock treatment to the one. <laughs> uh, you're funny, buddy. How about that one over there? Uh, about this one, look at for uh, So that's what we got so far, guys. Uh, we're almost uh, eating uh, the night uh, over there. So don't forget, guys, we change the time tomorrow, uh, honestly. And uh, I can wait to see you, each one of you to back uh, with the Hockey Nation Live show. We will have the ad branch. Uh, and then I will try to do the game Toronto Maple Leaf tomorrow. Um, so it'll be 4 o'clock here, but it's going to be and one hour more to sleep. So we'll be see if I can wake up at the right time and go from there for sure uh, about that one over there. So And I tap, do you think I should have been a ban about this one over there? Ban 100% Danny. <laughs> So Danny say yes, one hundred percent, and I have said never. <laughs> Looks at three zero for the Canucks. Uh, Jimmy Miller score. Second goal of the night uh, for Jimmy Miller. Then he said, uh, Steve, sorry, McCall, two assists today. Thanks so much, Steve G said that. Uh, and I thought, what did I do? Uh, I'm going to give in the volume of the player, too. It's still low. It was a powerfully goal, by the way.
How do you give it to a cosmical? Cosmical. Miller and Hughes get an assist on that one. Maybe go in our in our uh, well in our tap. Great said that. I agree about about this. Uh, you need to care about Khaled for sure. All right, guys, this complete, guys. Another uh, great night of the Hockey Nation live show about that. For the Hockey Nation live show, play by play, Montreal Canadian. Last but it's called 6 4 tonight, of course, late. But, you know, it was really entertaining if you think about this. So great people in the chat uh, tonight. Uh, great, great performance for everybody. We want to thank uh, personally all the moderators uh, of your uh, job tonight uh, again for the 12th time. On the straight, we get 100 likes. Uh, hopefully, we can consider until the next time. And we want to thank everybody for the super chat at the beginning of the night. Uh, and we wish you an amazing, great rest of your night, guys. Uh, enjoy your rest uh, watching the true mode again. I'm going to do this. Uh, my day just start uh, here at the beautiful country of Thailand. Uh, Sunday morning is at 9.53. Time to have a big fist uh, and hit the gym for another time. Until the next time, guys, I want to remind you one more thing. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for all the people who joined me live after the game post game. It's something we try to bring. Please join me more. We need more people, guys. It would be great to have more people join us live and talk about hockey. That's the beauty of the Hockey Nation Show. Until my next time, I want to remind you one more thing. Of course, be well, be healthy. Find a way not only to dominate your day, but find a way to dominate the second half of what? I can see RG said 2000. 2022. All right, my friend. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. Remember, the Hockey Nation Show. Let's show one, said one more thing. We love you, people. Have an amazing, great night, everybody. Jerry, good night, Chicago, William Snyder, enough that, Bobby, Danny, Franco, Le La Fortune, Bonne nuit, mon homme. Kelly, thanks so much. RG Calabro. Be. Don't worry about that. Oh, 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 oh. Booyah!